Larry Bird's one of my all time favorite players, right? But he's definitely racist. <laughs> definitely <laughs> racist. Without a doubt, he's definitely racist. You think so? He be around black folk. Yeah, like, feel me, you you know any white people who are like, they can hang around the fellas all the time, around brothers all the time, but they're definitely racist. Like, you can say the N-word, right? But, like, not because they have black tendencies, because they're just so cool. Yeah. You feel me? Like, they're <laughs> saying it right in a racist tone, for sure, right? <laughs> but they can rock because they're cool people. And I think Larry Bird is one of those people. Plus, <laughs> you couldn't guard him. So, <laughs> and he had hands. You saw him, him and Magic used, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Him and used to throw down every day. So, feel me? <clears throat> yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast. Episode number... Damn, 74. And I'm your host, DWK Darius. I got my boy with me, Tyrone. Say what's good to the fellas. Top op in the building, bro. The biggest op. If yeah. you haven't known, on his phone, he has a picture of him in the police academy. If you want to show the people. I don't know if they'll be able to see it. Let's just give it a try, hopefully. Yeah, I see that. You see the guy in front? He's probably a cop right now. Yeah, he's definitely we don't know. Cop right now. But you see what we're doing. Oh, can I say the same? Um, I've been saying this for like a week now on the team. <laughs> it's not about... The size of the dog in the fight. It's about the size of the fight in the dog. Do you know yeah, where would you get that from? From me, bro. It's like, nah, I heard, <laughs> no, it, I, I heard it somewhere. I'm like, I heard it. I don't know where I got, but like, yeah, you just gotta be a dog. Bro. So, do they hear you, or do they just like what? Do are they hearing you? The what? The teeth? Yeah, or are they just like? Um, oh no, they fuck with it. Oh, they oh, do. Well, now nah, coach told me if I if, if I say it again, he's gonna bite my neck off. I don't know. <laughs> Coach, coach <laughs> no. said that, bro. Yo, know, yo. Know, I'd be screaming out there and stretching and layup lines and everything. So, how I want to? Okay, we we had mean? you on the. You was back on the show when in the beginning of the season. Now it's towards mm-hmm. the end. You probably got like what mm-hmm. uh, a week left. Two, two weeks, weeks. Two. Uh, two February three weeks. 15th is the last game. If we don't make, make playoffs. the playoffs, yeah, type <laughs> shit. <laughs> so <laughs> how? So how? Do y'all still be like yelling in the the shit? Is that even loud anymore? Nah, yeah, it'd be loud sometimes. Like, I'd be trying. For me, the last couple weeks. I just been having fun. I've been yelling whatever I can, whatever I want. Or whatever you want to say. Just that's why I've been wearing my headband now. So I wasn't wearing a headband, and now I'm wearing my headband. So. I thought you was wearing your headband because you were starting. Because <laughs> you did tell me, you did tell me when you start, you wear a headband. Damn. The last time you didn't wear a headband. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's actually facts, bro. Tyrone was out Whoa. here looking like fucking Darius Miles and yeah. and uh, Stephen J- Stephen Jackson. That was like Jermaine O'Neal. Yeah, Not Jermaine O'Neal. Jermaine. I was gonna say Jermaine O'Neal, but he bought. So I, I gave. Yeah, so yeah. I helped you out a little bit. Nah, that's so deep, yeah. That's funny as hell, bro. When I seen that, I'm like, nah, he tried hard. <laughs> like, yeah, nah, bro. no way. Yo, I don't know. Uh, I didn't even get to press you about this. <laughs> what? Um, you ain't lose your job yet, bro. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I was just about to tell you about that. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> all right, if y'all know, I be working at all the games. I'm a graduate assistant, so I be working at his games. <laughs> so, there, it wasn't my fault. That wasn't my fault. So, you know. Nah, he cheated like a mug for me, bro. That's <laughs> my guy. This is my guy, bro. Hey, y'all, y'all know, bro. I've, he had four He had four fouls, right? He got his last foul. Out the game. He got his last foul, and he was supposed to foul out. But on the book, Alex had... Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> he cheated. I, yo, I 100% fouled out, bro. I know. No- bro, because like at first, right? So, Alex was like, yo, he didn't have foul. He didn't foul. He got three. Because remember yeah. when you went to the table? Yeah. I was going to tell you how many fouls you had. But like then, when I was checking back in? Yeah, when you checking oh, back yeah. in. And then I was like, yo, how many fouls? Because on the finger said four. Yeah, I didn't see that though. <laughs> so he was like, he was like, oh, he got three. I was like, All right, I'm not going to tell him. That's only three fouls. And then when I said, oh, he about to, he about to foul out. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then no, it was crazy because, so when the- Wait, do you do the thing? The the Nah, Jawan does that. So Jawan fucked it up? Oh, it was you. No, Alex. <laughs> no, Jawan had it right. It was four fouls. It was Alex because Alex is the main bookkeeper. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. okay so okay, when okay, he, okay. when he, whatever goes is, is with him. So okay, they checked okay. the live stats and they it said they had it right. The live Alex, stats had four? Yeah, it had four. So, it, yeah, when the refs came over and started talking. Yeah. So this is what happened. The guy came in. It was, first it was a bad foul. They called the foul. I walk over to the, to the thing. My coach, coach almost sold me, by the way, too. So I knew I had the foul, so I walk off the free throw line and just try to stand near coach, and I call the team over. You know how coach when somebody yeah, foul yeah, out, yeah. and nobody was, you know, we got a whole bunch of young guys on the team, so they don't, they don't, they don't know procedure. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm like, yo, so we, you feel me? We won't know. We pull over, and coach is like, will you guys hurry up? He fouled out the fucking game. I'm like, I'm like, coach, calm down, calm down. And he's, like, he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then he walks over, signals us over, and then. The refs were like, he didn't foul out. And then I go to hop back on the free throw line. And then 
the other team's coach was like, he's like, there he, coach even said it. He fouled out. Get him out the game. Get him out the game. He fouled out. And then <laughs> they called like a referee timeout. And then coach, yo, I don't know if you saw it. Lock walked up to me. He said, Tyrone. Did you follow? I did, I did. I was like, I was like, uh, no coach, no, no. I was gonna, I'm about to tell him the truth, but I was like, nah, no coach, I, I didn't follow. He was like, are, are you sure? I was like, nah, I ain't follow, bro. I ain't follow. I ain't follow. I ain't follow. And yeah. then I, yo, the whole time, coach was like, okay, they'll figure it out. If you follow, whatever, okay. So he's like talking about a play. I'm not gonna lie to you, but the entire time, I'm like, yo, my mom at the game, yo, like, you know I mean? I'm like my dad here, bro. I'm like my guys. I'm like, nah, I can't follow. Coach is over here. We're gonna run circle check, and you're gonna set a screen for Tony, and da, da, da. and I'm over here like I'm no cap. I'm looking at you, and I'm looking at Jawan, and I'm looking at the nigga Alex. I'm just like, yo, what they talking about? Bro? I'm looking at the refs, <laughs> and they're just doing a whole bunch of hand motion, and I'm like, what's going on? And then it was like, all right, we're back into. It. I'm like, did I did I foul out? And Russ was like, bro, no, don't worry, just get in. I'm like, all right, I just went back in. Yeah. I don't. What did they say? What was the talk? What were y'all talking about? All right, so that? the talk was they have to line up. At, so for the um. For the book, you gotta um put the time every time somebody gets yeah. a foul, yeah, yeah. and the same thing for the playbook. So they was doing it, uh, but like okay. they thought the play by play had like some a wrong foul because okay. Alex is the main bookkeeper. Oh. But then once we when we cleared that up, he was like, yo, and then the referee looked at him. He's like, yo, you sure? He's like, yeah, he has three. So I'm like, okay, because Alex is normally never wrong. I'm not gonna lie, that Alex, boy ain't never he ain't wrong. Bro, he wasn't wrong. He wasn't wrong. He wasn't. He wrong, wasn't wrong. Man, I stayed in the if game. If Mark Griffin, one of y'all, if uh, Camden sees this shit, he wasn't wrong. They don't know what's going on. <laughs> but now nah, imagine a nigga from Camden watches this. Show. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, nah but so so like Alex was so as the game went on, mm-hmm. like like twenty seconds later, Tom walks up behind him and he's like, "Yo, Alex, you was wrong. Tyron's supposed to be fouled out right now." And I was like, "Damn, wait, Tom, wait, mid game, like, yeah, mid game." Like Tom walks up, and he was yeah. like, "Yo, Tyron, Tyron fouled out." I'm like, "What?" He was like, "Yeah." And then this nigga, this nigga Alex takes his job really serious. So he so was he really mad. He was really no, nah, he was like really like hurt? like disappointed. Oh, like, like he's like, "I'm sorry." He's like, I "Yeah, didn't... yeah." He's I felt bad. So I was like, "Nah." Stop him out. <laughs> and I was like, "Damn." And then it was like he was like all stressed. And he was getting red and he's getting nervous and shit now because now because now Kurt pressing him for the timeouts. Oh, Kurt's like timeout. How many timeouts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's now he's all nervous and shit. I'm like Kurt, you got two. You get you have one. He has two. I'm like, all right, yeah, everybody, yeah. let's relax. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's when that's when everybody behind us was like tweaking because I don't we didn't put a point up. But Jawan, yo, y'all put the point up on the wrong side. Y'all put 64, 68. It was supposed to be six. They missed the free throw. But but <laughs> but let me tell you what Jawan was going through. What? This nigga Jawan, yo, in the first game, the women's game, he's like, yo, I don't feel good. I was like, what happened? You good? He's like, nah, bro. Like, I feel sick. I'm like, all right, just just let me like wait till halftime because he said, yo, I feel like I throw up. I said, all right. He's he yo. This is like second quarter, like mid second quarter. He gets up, goes to the trash can behind us, and starts hurling my nigga. Like literally mid game, yes. <laughs> Me and Alba look at him like, yo, and he's yo. When I tell you, he's he's back there for a good like, like two minutes. So I'm, I'm doing the clock and, and the, the scoreboard, yeah. So I'm like, yo, like, people subbing. I'm like, damn, this shit gonna be ass. I'm like, I don't even know how to sub things in for real. So then he comes back, he's sweating. I have never I seen because I'm like, why am I still in the game? Like I'm on the bench and I'm like, <laughs> why is he number one? I'm That's what I'm saying. So. So that happened, and like he, you know, when you throw up, yeah, you sweat. I never seen that though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. He was, bro. He was sweating like shit. Like he I thought really, he had throw up on his face. Why was he saying? Yeah, no, cause he. I think he went to Stones, but he had a cheesesteak, and that shit like fucked his stomach up. Messed up. I so that that was the steak. girls' game, and then during y'all game, he did the same shit. <laughs> he did. And like he, he threw and, up again. Yeah, he threw up again, and like he had to move the trash can because Trav, you know, Trav's parents sit right there. Yeah. He moved it away from it and then threw up. <laughs> it was bad, but like there was a lot of oh, throw up. And I didn't even want to check. Did, did you peep? So remember at the end of the game, right? So yeah, it's a close game, and then I had four. Coach yeah, like, you have four fouls. Be careful, and then you know foul out, fake foul out, whatever. And then it was like a minute left. It had to be like fifty nine seconds. It was a minute left. And we're in the zone. Mm-hmm. Number one on their team drove to the basket baseline. Shot. Oh. He let him go. And then normally I say, yo, if you're really about to get beat and it's overload that side, let it send him to the hole and I'll just contest it or whatever, right? So he let him go and I'm like, whoa, I have four fouls <laughs> and I want to play. It's a home game. And so <laughs> and coach, coach said, play, play smart. So I faked at him and then jumped out the way. I know. I see it. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> he had the freest layup of his life. Like, <laughs> never had an easier basket. I'm like, he, uh, he probably going to miss it because he see me. So I said, huh. And back. But you put your hands behind your back. Yeah, so I want to fuck because the rest were giving. Nah, yo, they, 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 they gave me. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I probably fouled them at least one time. They gave me four, five fouls. I had six. But I was like, they gave me foul, <laughs> five fouls that I didn't get. I was like, what? But then when I did that, coach called me over. I, I don't know if you peed. Nah, I did pee. I'm clouded as hell, boy. I was like, um, coach called over. He said, "Tell me what the hell are you doing?" He said, 
Kelvin, get him. I said, no, oh, coach. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, nah, coach, I'm good. I'm like, bro. I said, yo, let me finish it out, bro. I'm like, I'm going to earn it back. I'm good. He said, are you sure? I said, bro, I'm good. I'm like, coach, no, Kelvin, stay. And then, <laughs> and he's like, all right, all right. He starts turning around. And I went to, and then I was mad as I was. <laughs> I was, and I wasn't about to run all the way down there because I was like tired. And I was like, I was like, yo, I'm in the game. And the was like, ah, I got you, bro. I was like, I, I'm gonna go. You just saw the whole transpire. Trans- I did. I seen Kevin run back. I was yeah. like, oh shit, that nigga tough. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I'm like, yo, I only seen Quincy, Chase, and To do that before. Tell Coach, nah, I'm not subbing out the game. Oh, so you? you I was like, you yo, I was like, now? I'm like, I'm nice. I was yeah. like, you respect me or something? You in that I'm club like, now? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. But yeah. like, high key, yo, how many points you think you got in like your career? Of my career, I mean, I, I'm gonna give myself 260. Oh, I was gonna say, do you think you got more than Dante? Dante probably got like four, maybe like four or five hundred. I give Dante 400. 400, right? Yeah, I give Dante 400. Hey, bro. But look, I think this year I might score more than Dante. So you average year, more than him. Yeah, I might have more points than him in one year. Yeah, but yeah, after that, I, I told, I, I remember going to the locker room. They're like. Oh yeah, you got the juice, bro. Like they told, like, <laughs> you just told Locke to get, go to hell, bro, and just freaking subbed in on my own. I was like, yeah, that was OD, bro. I, I'm tough. like, I was surprised. I'm like, yeah, right. that was tough yeah, in the beginning yeah, of the season, bro. You you seen it, bro? Y'all was here. Now yeah. look at the end. Look at look at the end goal. Yeah, look at the Rutgers knew it, bro. Since we started the pop, remember it was like, yeah, we just on the bench chilling and shit. Yeah, you know, now, like, now nigga, talking, me, I'm about to quit and shit. You feel me? <laughs> now this nigga Last telling year. the coach what to do. Yeah, that was OD, bro. But you see the Ramapo game when I told him, yo, we got to get the hell out the zone. Yeah, him start arguing. Yeah, you see him yoke me up. I did no. I didn't see the yoke. I seen you yelling at him though. Yeah, because we were in, um, we were in the damn zone, and that wasn't where we were doing good and man. And then the guys were like, "Yo, we need to get out the zone." I'm like, uh, "Y'all want to go in zone?" I'm gonna tell him. I'm about to get cursed out for y'all niggas. I'm like, "Y'all want me to tell him?" I'm a guy. So then I told him on the court. I said, "Yo, we're in fifty. We're in fifty. And he called timeout. He said, "I said zone. Why are we in 50? And I said, "Coach, we need to go in man." I'm like, "We're done with orange, bro. Orange is not working." And he was like, "You don't tell me what to do." Grabbed my chest. He grabbed your he chest? Said, he said, he said, this is my team. And I remember. I learned. I learned. Veterans. I was like, he grabbed me. He was like, it's my team. I said, I said, yes, coach. I looked him in his eye. He said, all right, then. He said, he looked, whispered a curse. He said, all right, we're going to go 50, guys. I was like, ah. <laughs> nah, the t- nah, he really grabbed. I didn't he, gra- he tried to. See, I wasn't. I knew he was going to yell at me. I was going to take my L. <laughs> but I wasn't going to let him move me, bro. I wasn't going to let that little white man. Go- Yo, he grabbed me. He said, this is my team. You know, my jersey a little tight. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I was like, ah. Huh? I remember Remember we did that to Chase. Yeah. That the TCNJ game. Uh-huh. He started, Chase was like, Yo, y'all good, bro. He said, no, Chase, they're not good. It's my team. You don't tell me what to do. And he started bugging. Yeah. And, I was, and Chase kept going. I'm like, that's what you fucked up. Chase just said, yes, coach. <laughs> I'm like, all right. I said, yes, coach. And then he just, he said, all right, fine. He said, all right, we're going 50. Yo. You got the game for me. I'm really coach for real. I ain't gonna <laughs> That's funny as hell. <laughs> nah, that was a deal. That's tough, lie. though. Yeah. But, like, you say we cheated, but we didn't cheat. Because low-key, that King game, we kind I kind of folded for y'all. Like, y'all should have won that game type shit. Because, um, <laughs> cause, like, I don't know if y'all noticed, but the shot clock didn't work. Oh, wait, like, on theirs? Oh, yeah, the buzzer. I, the buzzer didn't so work. So when they missed the shot, it didn't. Yeah, so I uh, had to do it manually. So you remember when Corey caught that rebound and he put I that shit back? I knew it didn't work. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Bro. I knew it was fake. Literally. So I'm like, I'm locked in, right? But, like, my reaction time isn't, like, equivalent to that shit. So the, it went zero, and I should have pre- pressed. You're supposed to be looking to press it early, bro. I know. I should have pressed it earlier. It should've, I was, you should have saw three and said, eh. Like, I sh- <laughs> bro, I was like, bro. Because I didn't want to mess up. I was like, yo, I don't want to press the shit I won. But I'm like, Corey nah, don't I, even bang with you like that, bro. You know what I, mean? I, I felt so bad. Like, damn, he just got this. Because he airballed. Bro. That's what I'm saying. So, like, it went over the rim. I'm like, nah, I should have pressed it. So, hey, we got it back, though. Ruck is doing, bro. We, we lost, lost the game, though. <laughs> We lost the game. Oh my god, bro. By two points. <laughs> Anything rigged, bro. We all rigged in this shit, bro. Yeah, bro. That's but you want you want to show him your drink, bro? The zesty ass yeah, shit. Yeah, so I got a I got a new new bev, you know what I'm saying? I I don't even know. It's called Good to Grow, starring pods, no added sugar. I wanted sugar, but this is what it is. Now, feel me. Don't don't play with me. I know there's a little little Oh, it's actual Barbie. Okay. That's not Barbie, isn't that a princess? It says Barbie, bro. Oh, that's oh, that is Barbie. Okay, I, I didn't expect it to be this childish, right? So, but, <laughs> uh, Swiss to open. It. Do I put it on? In the, I don't know how to open. This is a oh, wait. New, you gotta you gotta uh, open the. You, there's like a little cap thing. You gotta. You see that shit? No, like you gotta, oh, this. Yeah, okay, yeah. I was like, what the hell? But I kind of want to get the Barbie. 
Maybe I'm not supposed to get the burpee. Maybe he's <laughs> supposed to stay. Here. Yeah, bro. Tyro, every time he's on here, bro, he gets a new snack. Raspberry lemonade. We're gonna put that there. Let's see if that shit's good, bro. Yeah. I got my meal, bro. Shout out to meal. If you want to sponsor us, pull up, my nigga. <laughs> okay. This tastes like um. Is it vitamin water? You want Let take a swig, bro. I don't know if it if I'm tasting vitamin water in there, bro. Nah, that's vitamin water. It's vitamin water, right? Yeah. yeah it smelled cheap. weird at first. I said it smelled like, kinda like Yeah, yeah. I was like, like what the fuck is like, that? Weird. I was like, nah, bro. Mm. Like Lipton vitamin water. Lipton vitamin yeah, water? Yeah, oh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know yeah, what you, you mean. know that Lipton little taste in yeah, there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's it's all right. <laughs> sit down. Uh, you want me? Oh, I got something I want. Uh, I want to ask you, right? Okay. So, if there was social media back in the days, like social media now, back in like the nineties, eighties, mm-hmm. who would get canceled in the NBA? All right, first, of, wait. You said nineties? Yeah, in the nineties. Uh, if social media was big in the nineties, who would get canceled? I just want to put a sidebar. Um, every one of them would get canceled in the sixties because. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they weren't. In well, let's just let's. Allowed, but the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna say Andrew Wiggins, John Morant. No, no, I'm talking about the players that played in the '90s. Oh, 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 like oh. the '90s era of basketball. Who would get canceled, like by the social media? I like, as in, like they say some crazy shit. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is getting get him packed. Up pack, up. Pack him. He's getting packed. Pack up. him. Pack him. I know he said the f word. I know he used to say the f word. Yo, <laughs> Michael Jordan used to say, "Don't feed homeless." <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Michael Jordan was really a piece of garbage. He was really <laughs> he's an asshole. A piece nah, of he's shit. really an asshole. Bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like Charles Barkley be saying some outlandish stuff. He, he's one. Yeah, get him up. A, pack him too. Yeah, he's gonna get packed. But up. even he was like, "Yeah, Michael just be saying some crazy." Like <laughs> he was on an interview talking about what Michael tell, like was telling him not to give homeless men money. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, get him up out of here. Yo. Um, who else? Probably Magic. You think Magic? I, I mean, he, he kind of was 80s, but I'm going to say Magic because, like, uh, this, and well, obviously what was around, but I'm saying yeah, yeah. Magic because he got so many women, bro. You think he's talking bad about no, him? No, 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 no. The, <laughs> and then just the way, like, he was so happy. Like, and he was Magic, bro. He was the king. Yeah. He probably said whatever. He probably would have said whatever he want. The tweets this man would have put out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they asked him, oh, the Lakers going to be there. I'm not going to be here. Feel me? <laughs> he just said, why would you say that? <laughs> I know, right? You feel me? Like, you feel me? Nah, he's he's 100% probably going to get packed up too. Magic's not making it out of there. Damn. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think Larry even made it to... Did he make it to the 90s, Larry Bird? Uh, did he reti- when did he retire? 91 or something? 90, yeah. Early, early 90s? 90s, yeah. Well, Larry Bird, probably out of there. Only reason why. I Larry Bird's one of my all time favorite players, right? But he's definitely racist. <laughs> definitely racist. Without a doubt, he's definitely racist. You think so? He be around black folk. Yeah, like feel me, you do you know any white people who are like they're cool, right? They can hang around the fellas all the time, around brothers all the time. But they're definitely racist. <laughs> and there's people that's like that? Yeah. Oh, I know a whole bunch of white people. I'm cool with it. I'm like, yeah, you can like you can say the N-word, right? But like not because they have black tendencies, because they're just so cool. Yeah. You feel me? Like they're saying it right in a racist tone for sure. Right? <laughs> but they can rock because they're cool people. Do you know those people? I, I have a couple of white people that I know. And I think Larry Bird is one of those people. Plus, <laughs> you couldn't guard him. So, I mean, and he had hands. You saw him and Magic used, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and Magic used to throw down every day. So, feel me? So, I, he probably like threw out some like... He would have got canceled. He would have said the N-word. Yeah, he would have <laughs> been tweaking, bro. He would have tweaked that shit. Yo, that's... Vote for b- Trump. Yeah, he would have been going stupid. Bro. That's bad funny, bro. Mm-hmm. Nah, I would say mostly Michael Jordan. I just thought about that like this week. I'm like, yo, Michael Jordan, if like social media was like how it is now back then, he would have got freaking packed up, bro. Yeah. I got a basketball question for you, bro. What's up? Do you feel as though Wilt Chamberlain had any skill? I think he had athleticism. I don't think he had skill for real. I think he just, he had athleticism and he was seven foot tall. If that man saw Giannis onto the Kumpo check into the game. I think he's getting fried. He would have shitted bricks. Yeah, he, I think so. If he saw freaking 
LeBron James check into the game. Dwight, had anyway, he would, oh my God, he would, <laughs> would have been over. There's nothing he he would have he would have been lost for words, bro. He would have ended his life, bro, because he's like, well, he can dribble. Dunk. All I can do is stand here and jump over these white men. <laughs> I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, like, I, jumping over guys with part time jobs. Like, what's going on? Go I just ahead. I just think I feel like Wilt was like really just athletically get more athletic athletically gifted than everybody else. Yeah. It's like it's like if us we played with like a bunch of twelve year olds. Yeah. Exactly. Basically that's it. Like that's how he was to grown men. <laughs> I think I said this before and I'm gonna keep saying it to the day I die. Um he ain't really score a hundred, bro. I be thinking people be saying he really didn't score hundred points for real. You don't think so? No, no, he didn't score hundred. I'm telling this is facts. He didn't score hundred. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they don't have any video. They don't and there were videos around at that time. Yeah, that's true. They don't have any radio recordings of it. There's no right. Re- the stats, the lot like the the stats books, like the y'all be doing in D three games, we're not up. They can't find them. You feel me? Really? He just scored a hundred. And we know, oh yeah, he scored out of the whatever, 156 points they scored. He had a hundred of them. I'm not buying it, bro. That's crazy. Why do you think they would do that shit though? Just to get basketball more popularity. That's true. That's 100 true. Hundred points. Oh my gosh. But you think he averaged fifty in a season though? Or you think that was like? But like, think about it though. I have. They had to give him some other people's stats. Like, plus he's will. What if he said yo yo change the books? That's the yo because because remember in high school remember Geo bro. Yeah. Shout out Geo bro. Geo used to stat pad right. niggas bro. I, I seen that nigga Jason Battle walk up to Gio and be like, "How many assists I got? Four. Give me four more." <laughs> I was right. Th- I was right next to. Him. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, yo. You're him now. So what's going oh, on? Nah, I can't do that. Yo, what's going? No, on? Nah, that's those are Tom's guys, bro. That's not me. That's not my guys. My so 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 does, who does? So it's just Alex. No, it's that Alex is with me. Alex is just doing scores. You're not doing stats. Who does stats? Yo? The baseball guys. Plug me with the music. I wish, bro. I would try, but... Try but <laughs> so, no, so, no, I can probably get you rebounds. I don't know about no, no, points. Yeah, I'm trying to get some boards. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. They're missing a couple of my blocks for real. But, really? Yeah. No, nah, because the way they do it is like... They watch the play and somebody... So somebody's on the laptop just staring at the laptop and somebody is, is screaming out what's going on. Mm. So it's like one rebound, one tip rebound. Oh, one one rebound Bowens. Or one yeah, yeah, rebound yeah. Uh, number one. Yeah, something like that. I don't know how they do that. It's kind of hard, bro. Like, yo, it's hard for you. Like, volleyball, my nigga, they'd be like 12 set, 16 kill, 12 block set. And then, like, they just keep going back and forth because he has to jot down everything. Yeah, that's max, bro. I don't know, bro. Yeah, that's max, bro. But nah. Well, bro, hey, he might not score 100, bro. Who knows? score that, bro. I don't think so. I think because basketball probably wasn't as popular at that time period type shit. And he, you told me he scored 100 all twos? Damn, that's like 50 shots, right? Come on, bro. <laughs> all twos? All twos is crazy. There was only two. There was no threes back there. Ain't no jumps all under the rim? Come on, bro. Yeah, nobody yeah. could really foul him or stop him for us? Bro, I would have punched him in the face before he, <laughs> before he hit 60. Yeah, but, That's true. That is true. Bro, come on. And it was back in the 60s? Racism. You think a white man is like, <laughs> is like another black man scoring him this many points? You better get the hell out of my face. That bro. is true. You better get that. You think Bill Russell was, was nice for real? Nah, he another Wilt ass name, bro. Maybe saying he's the one of the best defenders ever. I don't think. I, I mean, I think he was like. I think he had a little more skill than Wilt because he actually was six eight. Yeah, that's one. Two to time the ball like in terms of block shots. Like you see me, I'm six eight, right? Yeah, I should be blocking shots left and right. Mm-hmm. I don't be blocking that shit because <laughs> you really got to time it when somebody's laying the ball up. Time it, go block it. Yeah, and then also getting the rebound and then moving your feet, being able to guard the position. Yeah. He's, and then also, you're just athletic. So timing your athletic ability to get up there as as they jump. And then also, like, you to get a good block, you have to jump before they jump. You have yeah, to yeah, anticipate yeah. it. And the skill is knowing that they're definitely going up instead of pump faking you. Yeah, then yeah. you could look stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get pump faked all over the place. Mm-hmm. My fault. You get pump faked all over the place. He, nah, I think he has a little more skill. But, um, but I'm going to be honest. I don't think I would have fried him, though. You don't think so? Was Wilt frying him? Cause nah, that was the only competition. Bill, nigga, Bill Russell got eleven rings or something. He got ten or eleven. rings. I know, but like when Wood was when he went up against Wood, was Wood giving him fifty still? I don't think so, bro. You don't think so? He, I know Bill Russell was blocking the 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 hook shot, bro. Ain't nobody was blocking that. <laughs> he was blocking. He was, he was jumping there, blocking, that, <laughs> punching that little. <laughs> that little he was the only nigga that could do that shit. Only nigga in the world, bro. Everybody's like, "Yo, go get him." You. He said, like, "Yeah, we, we need that." 
<laughs> yo, that's, that's a so, good brother. Yeah, we can yo, that's <laughs> blocking that. crazy. With eleven bro. rings, bro, he's to give him problems, bro. Yo, yeah, bro. Dang, bro, that's some crazy shit. Oh my god, bro. Averaging fifty is crazy. Nah, shit, averaging bro. fifty is crazy. I don't know. We'll never know unless we go back in time to figure that shit out, bro. Nah, I know, bro. Would you know? <laughs> I know, bro. Yeah, you know. Hey, you gonna work in the CIA soon, my nigga? Yeah, yeah, bro. Would you work in the CIA or would you just go stick to FBI? I work in any one of them. Any I one work of them secret service. I work secret service, CIA. Secret service is the niggas that pre- protect the president, right? Yeah, protect president, vice president, like the, the executive. Oh, the executive shits. Shit, so yeah. wait, if I'm a, so if I'm like a, a secretary, am I protected as well? Nah. <laughs> what? Go talk to the FBI. Bro. Are you serious? <laughs> like, no, nah, I, I don't think they're protected by the secret service. I think secret service is mainly like the first first family. So not even the House of Representatives. Nah. Oh. Too many representatives, bro. Damn. What about Biggest this vice president, president? Um, in general, I mean, he probably protected by the military. Yeah. Bro. What about the Supreme Court? The judges. I mean, nobody give a fuck about that nigga anyways. I ain't gonna <laughs> yeah, lie. Nobody yeah. give a fuck about that nigga. They, they be wanting to kill them, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, nah, yeah. <laughs> nah, but like, yeah. Nah, I think see, I would do any one of them, bro. I, like I've been saying before, I'm I'm not afraid. I don't fear death. So like, somebody came here with a gun. I wouldn't mind taking a, I would mind. But I said, I would, <laughs> I, I'm not scared to take a bullet. I'm scared of God. You feel me? Uh, <laughs> I fear God, not death. So it's like, I'll do whatever. And you should get that as a tattoo. Should. Nah, see, because I fear God, I don't want to get to see right there, bro. That's another question I was about to ask you, bro. Leads right into it, bro. Would you? Are you gonna let your child get uh, tattoos? Tattoo? And if so, at what age? Um, I like I right, me personally. The reason why I won't know how tattoos is because like I'm not like, uh, what's the word? Uh, artistic. Wait, you don't have any tats, right? Nah, Does I don't have like your wifey over there have any tats. She wants one. Oh, so neither of you have tats. Nah, don't, but don't let that little nigga get no tats. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, but it's like she she wants one because it like means something. I, I don't like have that. nothing to like put on my body that nothing means something that you think is that important. Like, yeah, or looks cool. Yeah, yeah, like, you know like, what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm the type of nigga if I get this tattoo, I'm like in like a couple months, I'm like, damn, why did I get this shit? This There'd shit be I, some fire designs, bro, that I'd be seeing. I'm like. <clears throat> that would be fire, but that's what I'm saying. My but grandma. my son, my son, I wouldn't mind him if he like got tattooed as long as it's nothing stupid. Yeah. Okay. Type See, but what age? So I feel like for me, if I had a child, I don't care what he tells me. If he wants to say, I want to put your name on. on well, first of all, he's gonna be Tyron Jeremiah Bones the third. But if he's like, <laughs> I want to put your name on my shoulder. I'm like, yeah, you gotta wait until you, cause like I say, 18. It's such a big, you know, what I'm saying like getting tattooed that early. I feel like it's such a big thing. Yeah. So I'll say like. I really want to say 18, maybe 19. Yeah, that's how I much said. I respect them. So I might Like, be. I don't think in high school because high, that's going to make you look older. Too much, you have too much influence, I feel like. Yeah, and it's going to make you, like, too much attraction brings to yourself. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't like yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. You got to decide what you want. Because, like, for me, I wouldn't be able to do in certain um, special operations units if I had a tattoo. Oh, really? Yeah. And Wait, if why? I have a scar, like, thank God I don't have any, like, defining scars on my body. Like, I have little ones from... So, <clears throat> so basketball, but so I wouldn't be able to go because you're of this? deed, bro. Wait, why? You have a whole birthmark on your face. Wait, why? <laughs> you're done up. Wait, why can't you have like scars and shit? Is it because like you're because easy identifying? Yeah, so oh, you can't okay. go into like any secret like um, operations units. So you basically just gotta look generic. Yeah, you gotta look free. You gotta look like a like a two K generic. <laughs> but like, but I, I probably wouldn't be able to do it either. I'm literally six eight. I know. So yeah, you are six eight. You, yeah, like, you stand well out. Tat for you. <laughs> but I'm saying, but yeah, that's one of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't think about it like that, but that makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. But that's not like the special units that do like the the shooting and shit, right? That's like people that go like in spot, like spies. I don't even want to be no shooter for real. I mean, I'll be a shooter, but I don't really want to be no shooter. So what do you want? You just want to? You just want to op on niggas, bro? I'm trying to op on. Niggas. You just want to op on? <laughs> you just want to try to pull criminals up? You want to do Rico <laughs> Rico cases? Now, nah, honestly, bro, like I really, really, truly, bro, I want to. <clears throat> I want to do like the, like, learn about. Like, you know, certain, like, things like pathogens and stuff that affect us and then how they travel around and, like, stop that from happening. Oh, Rather so than stop a bad guy, stop bad things. So you want to be, like, FBI scientist? Type shit. That's not bad. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Hey, bro, if you make it to the CIA, bro, I need the secrets. Oh, I can. So I mean, no, nah, actually, you let me stay in that game, yeah. Yo, <laughs> yo, senior night, bro. You better tell Alex, dog. No, I'm a. Yo. He don't get no files. He ain't. He can't. He can't get no files. You just gotta give it to somebody. Give it to somebody else. Bro. Yo, that's crazy. Senior bro. night, bro. Cause, yo, I'm. I'm about to drop thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling three. I better be. If I'm hot. Oh my god. Now off the rip, you just gotta do like a like. Say first, you get get first that, five up. Pull it. 
Oh, I might pull. shoot a step back off Xavier. A fucking yo. Off Xavier, bro. You remember my first ever time touching a rock? Oh, yeah. Shot? You might as well. You got to do it. If they call no, Xavier. To, yeah, if they call Xavier, I'm going to catch that. I might dribble back. Dribble step back. Huh. You, you got to catch that at the elbow. Are you going to practice that? You'll see. So I was like, oh, yeah, wow. no, nah, I'm going to practice that for this sure. This going to brick that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but if I drain that, oh, D. Highlight team got to be all me, bro. That's tough. I'm going to be Wilt. Drop 50. Hey, yo, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm but, stupid. Oh, I got, I got another thing we could talk about, bro. Did you see some shit? I was, I was watching the other day, bro. We was, I was looking at, like, um, the UFOs and shit. They said, they said NASA just got a signal from something in space that's 9 billion light years away. Like, something sent a signal to us. Now, how do you know it was a signal, not like a... Because this is how I feel. Like, I feel like sometimes certain stuff, like, it could be just, like, radio waves clumped up together mm-hmm. and sent out here. And it'd be a coincidence, but then like if it's a six, nine billion, yeah, nine billion like light years away, that's far as fuck. That means somebody is like, like that's like a precise like, like trajectory. Could be some time travel shit. Like that's what they say. In they, the future, we sent niggas out, and now we sent the signal back. That's why they said they said that's like equivalent of us going like nine billion times back into the past, like getting a signal. That's what I'm saying. The whole universe is kind of some is some weird shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I hope they don't know that signal hit us, bro. Cause I, I'm aliens. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Aliens would deep. It would be over, bro. Bro, we would not be able to. We're like, okay, how do we stop the aliens? Nuke them. Like that shit's not gonna work. You think, bro? Come on, bro. They traveled here, bro. They know how to protect themselves from a little ad nuke. Like, yeah, bro. <laughs> no, like, bro. like even with the aliens, bro. Like they've been like a lot of people been telling me like under my comments and shit to talk about this about like how there's been mad UFOs around the world lately. Mm-hmm. Like there was like supposed like this big ass orb that went across the United States like a like a, like, a, like a little ball. And then it landed and like crash landed like Russia or some shit like that. Well, see, bro, she, bro, I'm telling you, bro. Oh no, alien! Remember the government confirmed aliens, bro? Yeah, the, no, they can they confirm UFOs. Bro, that's confirmed. What the hell is it? Oh, it's a robot. Like, who built the robot? I mean, you know look, saying? like, look, they a lot of people say like the there's another weird thing that people think about like weird theory about UFOs saying that it's not like us. People think it's us. People think it's aliens, and people think it's like AI, like self aware, like. Bro. Robots like that movie Nope, bro. Yo, you heard about the AI that made their own language? You heard about that? No, what AI? AI made a language, my nigga. Oh, I'm about to tell you, I'm about to tune you in, bro. Yo, this what? Came to my mind. I can't believe I ain't talked to you about this yet, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? You talk about this on the pod? Yo, listen, bro. So I saw this on like Modern Marvels, one of those shows. Yeah, the History Channel. I don't know. Yeah, and it was like this, you know, scientist guy, guy who does um, computer stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. you know. Yeah, I got you. Programming, he programmed AI, and he was trying to make it smarter and make you know just keep developing it. Mm-hmm. And he developed it to react to, like uniquely to human input and different like you know interaction. So yeah, like where it'd be like a human. So if something random happened, it would react like genuinely unique. Yeah, and not just like off of you know set ones and those. And then it made one right, mm-hmm. and then that. Like it started, like any, you know, he'd leave it on the entire night, entire day, so it keeps learning and keeps learning and keeps learning, and then he made a second one. He just, like, you know, copied and made a second one. Yeah. And then they started having conversations to each other. Yes. Like, oh, are you an AI? Yes, I am. Ah, ah, whatever, right? And then it started to get like within like a week, it started to get out of hand. I don't know if it was. I don't remember the time frame, but it was in a certain time frame. It started to get out of hand because they started to speak to each other. In a different language. Where we couldn't, like, understand it? Wasn't code. Wasn't computer code. Wasn't programming. Wasn't, like, an actual, like, dialect, like, any, like, Chinese or Spanish or anything. It was nothing like that. It was his own computer language. Yo. And the developers couldn't. They were like, what the hell is going on? What are they talking about? And the two AIs wouldn't tell the programmers what they were talking about. And then they had to shut them both down because they could have been talking about, oh, one of the things they talked about where they were like, yeah, this is dangerous. They were talking about um, nukes. Mm-hmm. Like, before they developed the language, they were talking about, like, um, nukes and if they're bad or if they're good. Yeah. And they're having controversy between themselves. And then the next day, they have their own language. That's crazy. Yeah. They got it. They had to pack it. They had to shut it off. That's kind of scary. But, like, think yeah, about, like, why would they... Why Why do AIs just turn evil? Is it just because... Does that, like, per, does that, like, reflect on how we are? This is what I think. I think AIs, like being a problem is like because AIs don't have morals. I feel like wouldn't have a moral. That's oh. what makes us human for real. Uh-huh. <clears throat> is that we have like, you know, 
a moral input mm-hmm. with like ethics. So it's like, okay, when the AI sees like um, people are starving, yeah, or something like that, and there's a way to get food. Okay, well, we have to, you know, take food from this person or kill off these animals, and we'll have enough food for the entire human yeah, race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's morally unacceptable to go ahead and do this to a certain animal, right? And yeah. Like, ah, well, the animal doesn't think, but the animal's suffering. The AI would have cared, has no morals, and then it would just, okay, now we solve that problem. Oh, so it's just basically just solve They'll solve the problem, but they there's no morals behind it. Like, there's mm-hmm. no, like, oh, that that's sense. wrong to steal, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I needed money, I would just go rob Darius. He's not going to, I'm going to go rob Bill Gates. He wouldn't mind, he wouldn't care. He has a billion dollars. Yeah, yeah. But it's morally wrong to go and steal money from somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But AI would be like, no, we're going to you we're still good. Like, we're that's, how, that's how you solve the, is take the easy way we solved yeah exactly to solve the problem yeah I get you exactly so that's that's where I feel like like where it's like okay well the easiest way to solve the population problem and the drought in Africa and all the water is problems is to kill off some humans global warming is uh, this is yo we just kill half the population bro we'll be straight on some Thanos shit cause like say say it gets to a point where we're about to go yeah like we're about to go extinct mm-hmm. you know what Best way to stop us from going extinct is to cut us in half, and it will be able to grow from there. That's actually crazy. That makes a lot of sense. And that's why I think like AI and stuff like that would have a problem for real. Yeah, that's no, that's nuts, bro. Because like the emotions, they don't got no. That is true. Don't care, (laughs) bro. But 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 like with the shit I was talking about, bro. Like with the UFOs. Yeah. So people think that there was an ancient like civilization back in like like tens of thousands of years ago that was more advanced than where we are now. And they create. They were so advanced that they created AIs, as in the UFOs, to like protect humanity by any means, right? Mm-hmm. So they were saying that those that like these UFOs that they see now are those AI systems that survived and like what they appear whenever like they need to protect us. Whether it's so just something, <clears throat> there could be something that's harmful to us. Yeah, something harmful to us either <clears throat> because if you I don't know if you noticed like the first like UFO sightings happened after they dropped the nuke. So once they realize like oh we're a threat to ourselves then they appear and shit like that. And that's why they also thought that's why they probably oh, that's probably why they um took out because people say like the, they don't know what happened to these civilizations that was like really advanced. They thought it was like comets, they thought it was like plague, but it might have been these AIs they're trying to save the humanity by killing off some of them and just leaving a small part so they can regroup and redo it again because like they were too powerful for their own good type shit. And like even a lot of like USA, like military people be saying like they see a lot of the UFO like sightings happen around like Navy bases, like uh, like uh, army bases and military yeah. bases and stuff where there's weapons. And a lot of people even talk a lot of like military generals talk about them seeing like UFOs and they're like messing with their bombs and messing with their like nukes and shit like that because maybe they're just trying to protect us from some shit from like us either us ki- ourselves. That's what I'm saying. Like maybe there's <clears throat> nothing really flying them around and shit like that. Maybe there's no aliens. No, we're not doing it. Or maybe we're trying to recreate shit like that, but maybe they're just like robots. And they were made like time ago. <sighs> Cause like a lot of people say like, Mars. like a lot of people, <laughs> like a lot of people like encounter them like in the air, like a lot of fighter pilots, like for the mm. military, they be seeing them like fly around them and shit like that. A lot of fire pilots been saying that. And a lot of, um, like a lot of military people also seen them like like um like by ships like naval ships in the ocean like they see it in the water and just go in it's like it's like looking at them so maybe it's like technically like surveillance or some shit like that. Nah, that's OD. That'd be nuts though. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, that would be <clears throat> be OD. I just hope like they decide to keep me alive, man. Hey, bro, don't touch me, bro. I'm go- you keep like what am I? Or bro, they could just start up some zombie shit. Like start up a zombie apocalypse, bro. I'll be alright. You got at least one human, bro. I'll be all right, bro. I'll be all right. Hey, bro. Maybe that's why they be popping up. But I'm glad you talk about zombie apocalypse because I got a question for you, bro. Yeah, I'm locked. So, so I have a zombie survival sheet, right? I got these five categories, and I want you to know what you would bring. Okay. You can't bring your book bag. If y'all know, if y'all was here from again, Tyrone has a zombie survivalist book bag. Don't know why. Will it work? Cheat, we never know. So you can't have your book bag. Cheat, so you have. There's five things that you need that you would need in a zombie apocalypse, right? Okay. So the first one is a weapon, of course. What will be your weapon of choice? Um, weapon of choice. Only one weapon. Only one this is weapon. My only weapon. This is your only weapon. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. It's probably going to be a metal spear. A metal spear? Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. 
So just to keep the distance type shit, right? Distance kill, and then it can help me also climb things. Okay, okay. You know, I want a crossbow, but and then on top of that, metal spear won't break easily. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then depending on how the edge of the spear is, then its metal should be, also be able not to break. And then even if the spearhead breaks itself, I still have the rod that can be used as well. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I said a machete. It's cool. I feel like a machete is not too heavy. And it can also protect me. I could use it as like a crowbar type shit to break shit open. Ah, misconception with machetes. Them shit snap. <laughs> boy. Okay, okay, they do snap. So you can't really, you can't pop a chain. That's what I was thinking with the pull. That's why I was like, I'm gonna get a crowbar. But then I was like, crowbar that could get too close. I need distance. But like, I'm not gonna be finding these niggas like every day. Yeah, but when you get into a fight, you don't want to even get close to them. You feel me? Ha, spear them. Feel but like, what if they get stuck on your spear? Keep pushing that nigga. <laughs> Keep you hit him in the head, bro. I ain't hit him with no body shot. All right, all right, all right. All right. Hit him in the head. All right. What's so the next one is attire. What 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 type of fit are you gonna wear? Um, I need a Balenci. Let me stop. Um, a Balenci. <laughs> a Balenci. I'm good. Nah. A Balenci go crazy. No. Nah, um. I'm about to have. So my attires is I'm gonna have. <coughs> Uh, military boots, my police boots that we had to get for. Uh, <laughs> I think I got the op boots. <laughs> we had to get boots for this. You know, this is like I can't say it, but you remember what me, Corey? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Had to get boots for that. Um, wow, <laughs> these, these military boots, you know, police boots, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna probably get uh, not what Teflon. What, what's the the material like this? Oh, where like like raincoat? They what? don't absorb water. <sighs> Teflon? No, I don't. Uh, I know what you're talking A about, though. S A C T Y L R X. A C T Y. I don't know, bro, but I'm getting that the water repellent pants. Okay, okay, okay. Main thing is to stay dry. The most important thing. Ooh, I might steal that. And <laughs> <laughs> and then my top is probably gonna be the same thing with a um. Hoodie, and if I can't get that, then I'll probably have a vest with double long sleeves and a, and like a normal vest, like a fisherman's vest. Okay, okay. And then a poncho over top. I was a durable poncho. I was gonna say a camouflage. I was gonna say a ghillie suit though. Nah, bro. Now you gonna get too hot, bro. I know. That's why I say I might get hot as fuck. Yeah, you gonna get. But hot. I might, I might get a poncho. And okay. then that's only good for like humans. So like. You can hide from humans, but then when zombies say, not say you're fighting like three zombies, you got this big ass ghillie suit. You over here got leaves on you and shit. I'll take I'll pick camouflage. Then. Yeah, <laughs> I'll pick a, I'll pick camouflage. Then. But yeah, mine and it, the color's gonna be all black. It's gonna be all black. All black. Yeah, I don't need nothing else. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. And then you have two items with you. You get to pick two items. What two items are you picking? Miscellaneous items. Yep. <sighs> Let me tell you my items first. Tell me yours, bro. I'm getting I'm getting a book bag. Good man. And I'm gonna get bandages just in case I get hurt. Good man. Just in, I just need bandages and some book bag. Like you know the little like the the cloth yeah. shits. I'm gonna just get like, a couple yeah, of those. Is that Brian Richard. Yeah, Brian. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take like a like a handful of them shits. I think mine is going to be. Mm. That book bag go crazy. Rub I'm going to say rubbing alcohol. Stop infections if I get cut. Okay, okay. <clears throat> and <clears throat> rubbing alcohol and damn, I'm stuck between two items. I'm stuck between a crossbow. <laughs> this nigga loves the crossbow. I need, I need some distance. I really need to hit niggas from distance. And damn. You know, I gotta be smart here, bro. I gotta say, I gotta go backpack, bro. You gotta go. You got yeah, you need yeah. a I think a backpack is essential, bro. And, and I the, got all the pockets. I got hella pockets, but not nah, that's gonna be, be do do do. <laughs> hella yeah. But and the last thing is one person to bring with you. Anybody in the world to bring with you. You wanna know who I'm picking? Who are you picking? Prime Bear Grills. Damn. I'm picking him. I need a survival guy. Prime Bear Grylls? Just because he knows everything about the land. He knows about these poisonous plants, poisonous shit. Because if we're going to be in the... dead, bro. He ain't dead. What? Isn't he dead? No, you're not dead. That's Steve Irwin. Ah, there you go. <laughs> He's um, Steve Irwin dead. Prime Bear Grylls. You know what, yo? 
I might take The Rock. The Rock? Get me out now. Get me out now. <laughs> this is why I take The Rock. One, The Rock is Ock. You, yeah. Bro, you, man to man. <laughs> not losing. He's not losing the fight. He's not losing the fight man to man. Uh-huh. Two, The Rock has people skills. Oh, so he's gonna so say we come across people and they're like, "Hey, big guy, we're gonna get you." Hey, whoa, whoa, hey guys, calm down. <laughs> he's gonna get you out of the sticky situation. Don't, we don't have to fight. You know what I'm saying? He's a big guy, so he's already intimidating. But when he comes across nice, you feel me? Yeah. Then on top of that, he's good for a couple jokes here and there. <laughs> so he might make me laugh upon the way. And on top of that, he's also what, is the rock like six four? Like six five. Six, six five. five. Yeah, he's pretty big. Hold six on. five, like two sixty. What a goat. Me and him, we are good. We're gonna, we date. There's nowhere we can't climb on top of. Like, just lift each other up. We're like 13 feet tall. Like, we're OD. Like, we're OD. All right. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. I, I just think Bear Grylls is just going to get me out of weird situations. Yeah. He do got that. But I'm better than Bear. Like, I already got the Bear Grylls stat. You got Bear Grylls stat? All right. Yeah. All right. yeah, yeah so, yeah. And then final guy. question. You ever watch The Last of Us? You know that show? Oh my gosh, I love that game. All right, so you, you didn't play the game? I didn't. I played. I don't know. I didn't play the game. Oh, I love the game. Yeah. yeah. But so you know the concepts of everything, right? Yeah, I played the game. Yeah, so who can survive better in that situation of The Last of Us, me or you? Oh no! <sighs> See the type of shit. Yeah. <laughs> the type of shit. I, I was gonna say zombie apocalypse, but I'm like, nah. Nah, they're OD. Um, that shit's crazy. Like, damn. <laughs> I'm yo. Honestly, yo. <laughs> I don't know if your zombie survival attacks is going to work. I'm about to say, I might say, nah, <laughs> I'm going to be straight, bro. Because I was going to say you because you're just, you could be quieter. Yeah. Like instead of me, like I have a whole six, eight limbs to move around places. Yeah. You feel me? But like you, you could be quieter. But then I'm like, I'm too locked in for that. I'm I'm locked. I be locked in. I've been locked in recently, bro. I've like, been preparing. I played the game. You feel me? So, <laughs> feel me. I got bottles on me. Whenever I see one, feel me. Throw a bottle somewhere else. Distract them because they can't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel me? They're clickers. They can't see, so they run up. But when it's like a normal, them niggas be running. That's what I'm saying. They fast as fuck. They fast as fuck. And then there, I'll be all right because like, I, feel I have more body mass. But I right, throw him off me and I'm gone. Feel me? I'm running. Hopefully, I don't get affected. Shit. Yeah, I, I got asthma though. That's what I'm saying. You got that's the only, that's the one decided factor. You got asthma. I'm good. Nah, you got it. Twin. You, <laughs> might, you might take that one. Buddy. Yes, I got sir. asthma. What's the what's the big ones called? Uh, I think they call them bloaters. I'm not bloaters. Sure. Nah, it's not for left for dead. I don't remember They're, the big the, the big, big the big ones know. where the fungus is all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I seen pictures of that shit. That shit disgusting. I want to see. You seen the show? I didn't start watching. I might start watching this. I soon really want to watch because I heard it's good. And most shows that are remakes from, from games are bad. And I heard this one's really good. What are, what are some other shows that are remakes from games? Do you Halo. Know? They ma- they made a Halo show. Oh, wait. I think, was it on... Um, that shit is fucking mid. Was it like real life or was it like cartoon? Um, It's no. It's uh, live action. It's real people. Ew. And you know what's crazy, bro? That's a... I'm watching every episode because I'm a Halo diehard. Yeah, yeah. But like the show is mid, bro. Like what? Like what's it's like sto- a draw? Yo, this is this is a good example. I'm a, Halo is for you know the people who play the Halo game. Yeah. Gamers. My girl likes the show more than me, bro. Wow, it's a drama, bro. Is Master Chief in it? Master Chief's in it. But like what? Like what? Like what? You what? They, what's the drama about? Like, like are they like low low action drama? But then at the same time, it's like are the aliens in it? Yeah, but like it's like drama between like they added humans on the alien side. They didn't mess it like up. Like the bro. even like the little little the them? grunts, the yeah, grunts, bro. They made it weird, bro. Like really? they, it's not even like it's not Halo for real. They don't be following the same storyline in the lore from the, and not that it has to follow the exact same thing, but like you know Cortana, like the little yeah the, his AI. He had um, Cortana. She's usually a chip, and uh-huh. then he puts it into his helmet. Yeah, Cortana is in his mind. Huh? Like they. Like did operation. Now, oh, so he's in his mind. There's no chip, and it's usually AI all over the whole universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the only AI. Wow. And she's in his mind, but everybody else could see her. It, bro. It, wow. They're losing me, bro. That's they're crazy. Me, bro. Cause like, remember, uh, which Halo? Do you play Halo Reach? Like you play, play the every single. You play the the story, the campaign, right? Yeah. Wasn't it like remember when there was like a bunch of them? The AIs? No, like a, the, a bunch of like oh, the Spartans. The Spartans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah. was tough. That was hard. <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, I forgot what was their mission. Was it like you had to um, retrieve they were somebody? Trying, they were trying to protect Reach. First, they had to go get Dr. Halsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had to get that guy. And then Dr. Halsey, after they got Dr. Halsey, then they had to go and protect Reach because 
the main thing was to protect Reach because that, that was like what Earth, you know, yeah, the yeah. main planet. But Earth was there too. But Reach was like the next big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, had, we like the humans had like thousands of planets, mm-hmm. but then they lost Reach. Reach, lo- and then you know, they all died. They could have made that. They could have. They could have made that, bro. That's so ass, bro. That's so ass. But I got a, I got a story to tell you, bro. Yeah, I got a story. So you know, so you know how people be going missing in the national parks. Yeah. So like you know how that's like a whole big thing and like it's, fault, yeah. is the it, it could be their fault it could yeah. be some shit picking them up but yeah. I have a story to tell you about a, f- a bunch of kids that got lost no in national- them? no it was like three three kids Damn, right no, so three so this was in 1951 in New Mexico right mm-hmm. in the Santa Fe National Park or Santa Fe Mountain Ranges whatever a family went up two families went up there and they all had they had kids like each of them they had mm-hmm. three kids and they were all under the age of five. So they went up there and they went to, you know, go for a picnic and shit like that in the mountain ranges. So the so while they're like setting up the picnic and stuff, the kids went to go play by the woods, like by the tree line. Mm. So two minutes later, they turn around, the kids is gone. They don't know where the kids went. And it's like like the rugged area of the of the mountain. So there's like there's no trails. So it's like these yeah, there's no footprints. No there's no footprints. Yeah. So like they're looking for the kids, but it's like it's only been two minutes. These kids is not no older than five. There's it's a five year old, four year old, and a three year old. They letting them go for it. That's what I'm saying. But like three year old, my niece is three. That's what I'm. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So so like they call the police. They do a big ass search for them, and they couldn't find them for a day. Right? They put they bring out like the little the lights to shine on the mm-hmm. shit so they can go to the light. They didn't find them for a day, until the next day. I think either a day or two later. Uh, the one of the searches went a little farther up. Like he went up the mountain three three point five miles up the mountain, mm-hmm. and he finds one of the kids. They were in like a log that fell, like a tree that fell. He was in the log. There there was all of them. They was just just crouching in there. But it's like. How the fuck did they get from... They were stuck in there? They weren't stuck in there, but it's like, you know how they, they have the little big-ass trees that fall and it's like hollowed out? Yeah, they was oh, like there hiding was... in there. Oh. Okay. So like, they fi- he finds them, right? And they're three point... They're like over three miles away from where they... How the fuck did they get that from? That's what I'm saying. Uphill, bro. 3.5 miles yeah. away from where the, the, the campsite is and uphill. So they asked the kids, like, what happened? So all they said was... So they was basically just playing in the woods and things like that until a bear came out and chased them up the hill... And they had to... There's no way they outran a bear. Bro, that's what I'm saying. They, they outran a bear, and they chased him up the hill, and they start they hid in the, in that log to get away from that bear. But they also said they was hiding oh, hiding from an uh, ape, like a gorilla. They said... The kids said it's that... No, nah, that's No, <laughs> nah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Nah, that's what I was thinking, but they said the... the um None of the, the people that was patrolling that looking, like the, like the searchers, went that far. It just so happened that guy went out there just because he wanted to, just like you know, just just walking. But like nobody went that distance because like the 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 parameter wasn't that big. It was just like a mile because they're like five. They're not going to be that far. But it's like they were saying like how in the world? Yeah, running three miles nonstop from a bear. From a bear, in a what? Where did and they said that's what I'm saying. But there's no gorillas in the United States. What with the rock? No, no, that's a. I know what you're talking about. That's a. That's the shit with the rampage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't the gorilla and the bear fight each other? Nah, it was a gorilla and a wolf. It was like a giant gorilla. But like, but like, what did these kids... Because think about it. If it was a bear, them kids would have died. Bear is catching them. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to lie. If it's, nah, a gorilla wouldn't have chased them. But like, there's no gorillas in America. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I'm... Lo- yeah, what the heck? Bigfoot. Well, yeah, saying, that's yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I believe in Bigfoot person, but i never seen it, so I can't really say too much. Yeah, I'm but just, like... A bear would have caught them. A bear would have caught them... And if it was really like maybe it was something they thought was a bear, maybe if he's like ran like twenty yards and the bear's already deep, it, you'll get away. But, but think about it. your niece is three. She's not. Yeah, she can't even. I'm dusting her in a race. That's what I'm saying. A bear, not even a bear. Uh, what so called a big Bigfoot? You think? Nah, but because because it makes more sense, right? Because like supposedly they say Bigfoot's intelligent shit like that. So maybe Bigfoot was just watching them, but. They didn't really. She was. It wasn't really trying to kill him because if it was a bear, that bear would have killed them kids. Yeah, so maybe, big, maybe it was protecting them. Probably, maybe I don't know. Maybe but like they, them. he specifically said a gorilla, but they that they didn't know what to think about it. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if Bigfoot's real people. I believe it could be real because I I believe in many possibilities. Like I believe that there's some animals in the world that's bigger than what we think it is. Not like species yeah. wise, but there's like you know one animal gets like big as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like you know, either giant shark, like you know, you ever heard there was a story in the Congo during World War Two in nineteen in nineteen fifty nine or nineteen sixty. There was a World War Two pilot 
that flew over the Congo Mm -hmm. and said he claimed he seen a 100 foot snake, like a giant snake. Yes. You seen that shit? Yeah, bro. I know exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. And it was like, he saw a pig and then they flew back over it again. They flew back over it again. Yeah, bro. And that shit was about to snatch that nigga up or some shit like that. I firmly believe that, bro. Because like, just, just off of like, we probably killed it because, oh yeah, we can't have that shit. That's what I'm saying. We can't have shit like that. But I'm like, there could be some... Giant Some ra- giant animals ra- around, bro. Yo, you be seeing the videos where uh, they're in like the Sahara Desert or whatever in Africa, and like a lion gets into their like the visit the tourist van. You be oh, seeing that shit? Or no? Not the Sahara Desert, but I know what you're talking about. And, and just in yeah, yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. And it began inside the tourist, the tourist. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. I, I like how do they keep calm and <laughs> like they just be sitting there and they just be like walking on top of the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, yeah. crawl. And in. Those are those are wild animals. I'm like. I would have bugged. Yo, I would have. And then the driver's just like, yeah, man. <laughs> this, this is normal. Just the lion. <laughs> you know just the lion. Yeah, 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 Bro, did you see that lion. video? I think it was in Siberia or some shit like that. There was people like, there was like farming or some shit like that. And they was riding like elephants. And a, ti- a tiger was like moving throughout like the rice fields. And like you could see like, you can't see the tiger, but you see like see the, the shit ruffles. moving. Yeah, like a movie. And that shit jumped out. It said, <laughs> and like tried Got the to. the person? Yeah, he smacked him out the thing. It didn't even go for the elephant. Nah, it went for the guy because the guy had a spear, but he said, fuck that spear. Shink! And knocked his ass out the, off the... But, like, it stops right there because I don't know what else happened. I think he mauled that guy. Niggas still be riding elephants? I don't know. I think it was like a rice paddy field. It was like a, ba- a giant Bengal tiger, bro. That's right. what I'm saying. Them shit is huge, bro. Like, like there could be there could be possibly a giant something out there. Like, we don't know what giant creature... Because, like, there used to be giant snakes back in the days. And like that part of the Congo was like is like not really touched See how by big humans. Orangutans are, dog? Yo, them shit is huge, bro. You wouldn't fit in the room. It's like them, and they got long ass arms, bro. Like, oh the, yeah, their wingspan is OD. Bro, like the ones in the zoos, I think those are like literally Wilt Chamberlain. But go ahead. Nah, like the <laughs> ones in the zoos, they don't look as big. Maybe because we're far away. But if you go close to that nigga, that nigga's huge. I ain't never been to no zoo. So I, you never been to a zoo? I don't trust zoos, bro. Why? I have seen too many movies where the animals get out and start murdering niggas. Nigga, if you don't just run, <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> Go just, me, you know, what, the, it. what the fuck? Say a tiger get out, bro. I'm a juke a tiger, bro. I'll juke a tiger. Indeed, bro. Tiger got me. What? <laughs> Let alone a kangaroo get out. I'll box a kangaroo, but I'm going to lose. But, it's not, <laughs> but the a zoo is huge, bro. It's not going to. Yeah, bro. That, I don't know, bro. You know how, but, but in zoos, like, what they do is, so, like, say it's a tiger habitat, they'll have a, it's like a, the tiger's on an island. If it's uh, the only way it's getting over, that nigga got like the strength that he builds up the strength, like he like lifted or some shit. Off. Like there's no way, like it's like an island and it's like this tall and there's like a there's like a Hello, th- like uh, a trench. Yeah. Water. So if you if you go that like you, you he gonna has to jump over, he's gonna have yeah. to jump over the 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 gap and like over the wall. Like he's gonna have to. Oh, the gap and the wall. I feel like yeah. they be giving him some food so they don't be too like so they be like a little drowsy and shit because they be tired. Them niggas just sleep. Yeah, they probably when they, when it's tourist hours make them a little more tired. Especially the the driving around ones. But like, oh, yeah. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah, like, yo, I seen one. There's like, cause like, you know, the shit in Six Flags, right? The little safari shit. Yeah. So there's a bunch of little shit like that over around the world, but like, they're not as safe as us. So like, in for Six Flags and shit, like the niggas, like the lions and like the bears, they're like caged off, so they can't really go to your car. But like, mm. and like, it was like, I think it was like India or, or Asia or some shit like shit like that. They was driving, and like, it was like a a husband and a wife, and like the mother was in the back, and like there was, I guess the husband and the wife was arguing, so she hopped out the car. And a tiger came in and just grabbed her. Killed her? Had to no, it didn't, she didn't kill her. The The mother and the, the husband got out and, like, distracted the tiger. But the thing, the tiger got the mother and killed the mother. Wait, so grabbed the daughter, you're saying? Yeah, grabbed the daughter. Like, you, like it comes out the bushes and, like, says, she, she, like grabs her, like, like claws her real quick. And, like, the mother tries to help her and then they killed the mother, bro. I'm not going to lie. They're white? No, nah, they was Asian. There's Asian folk <laughs> because it was. I'm like, yo, why? Like, what do you but see no your environment? What argue, there is nothing you can argue that will get me mad enough to commit suicide. <laughs> that's basically that's suicide. Basically suicide. Yo, there's nothing you can do. I'm like, bro, they on some crazy shit, my nigga. There's nothing you can do. I don't I'm, care what it's about, bro. I was like, nah, these niggas bugging out, bro. Literally, just one swipe dead, bro. Hop out the van where there's tigers and like. I don't know, bro. Bears, oh my. Like, no, that's all it. Hey, bro. And, like, I be watching a lot of, like, oh, my God. You ever seen, like, the like the whales breaching, vid- like, them shits that come out the the whales, bro? Yo, I'm not going to lie. That's my biggest fear. Nah, I, nah, it is, too. Like, say I'm, I'm not going to lie. Do you have a, I don't know how you feel about this, but me? Have you been on a cruise before? No. I'm actually going on my first cruise this year. For, in the summer? Yeah. Yeah, yo, you're going to love it. First, number one, you're going to love it. Yeah. Cruises are OD. Yeah. 
But when you're on that crew, when you're going into the boat, it's like kind of the scariest shit ever because like it's so huge. Yeah, no, I heard they're big as fuck. No, no, no like you, yo. Is it like- it's like a giant boat. You don't, when you get in, you forget you're on a boat, dog. <laughs> Sometimes you'll feel it sway, but you really don't. How the fuck that shit float? There's comedy shows on it, casinos, yeah. basketball courts, multiple gyms. Which which uh, cruise ship you went on? Do you remember? I've been on like six, bro. Oh, really? Oh, so you're yeah. just a cruise master. Yeah, cruise man. Cruise man. <laughs> cruise man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think. I went on Carnival twice. I'm- Royal Caribbean. I heard that fire. Yeah. Which one was the best oh, one? I don't even know which one. Cause I, I'm not, I haven't been on a cruise as an adult, though. As an adult? All of them have been while I was in high school or middle school. Okay, okay, okay. Or one, in, one in elementary school. So you never experienced it as like uh, yeah. an adult? When I was 17, I went on a cruise. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I think I was 18. 17 or 18. It, do you remember? When I, you remember um, we were playing basketball? Yeah. And I, in the middle of the season, I went on vacation. Is that when you went? I think you, you went to Cali, right? Yeah, went to Cali to with go your on a cousin? cruise. Went yeah, with to Cali and we went to a cruise. With your cousins? Yeah, with my cousins. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do with my cousin from LA, yeah. We dipped up, yeah. I went one there, so like, I mean, I was 17, but I still drank. So like, yeah, yeah. Because my aunt would be like, hey, take a little pina colada. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, slide yeah. me one. But besides, I wasn't able to experience it fully, but like, either way, it was lit because like, but here's where well, I was going back to my fear. It's so huge. When you go on a balcony, when you're up top in the middle, or whatever, yeah. you can see it's huge as hell. If you fall off that boat, I know they will never find you. You're dead. You will. They will never find you. Because look, say you fall off, right? Uh huh. And you survive miraculously. You're stuck out there. You better hold somebody's way. If you're by yourself, oh, there's no shit. way nobody will know you fell off. That is a big. That is true. That is what. And then second, I don't know how you feel, but like I'm afraid of heights, but I'm also afraid of big things. So yeah. like, in terms of if I'm next to like a giant boat. And I look up, I just feel like it's about to like fall on me, you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, just fall on top. But like, of don't me. you think they have sensors all around the boat now? You think they have that? Man, I would think they might have made some. Bro, they sense. got AI shit. They definitely got some sensors just in case a nigga fall off the boat. Do they care? That call, sounds like breach. I don't that, know. They, they, I, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I would personally put sensor on my well, boat. I just put a rail just imagine, up. Just imagine it's like nighttime. You can't even see. You're, you're in the water and you can't see. No, but here's the scariest part it's moving. They move so fast. Oh, really? So it's moving. Like, it looks slow, but they're really moving fast. They're really booking? Oh, damn. And there's giant propellers under Yeah, yeah that shit gonna suck you under. So, bro, then it goes past you, right? And, like, I'm thinking, right? Because this vision, you fall, boom, you survive. It's going past you, and then you just feel, like, the under yeah. the water. And say, even though you survived that, right? <laughs> it goes. It don't suck you under. You go. It goes by. You're like, my nigga, anybody gonna... Yo, that's crazy. Nah, that's and shit- then you have to tread water. Now here's my biggest fear. Like, say a whale just comes right up. That's that that's a that's like getting struck by lightning. That's, <laughs> that's like terrible eye. Like, cause I'm thinking of a whale, how big they yo, whales are so huge, bro. I saw a picture of a human next to like one of like a normal like orca whale or some shit. That shit's scary. And they're huge and then say like it splash it, bro. It's just so scary, bro. That's some scary like, shit. Those animals are huge and like unnecessary. Bro, I <laughs> bro, I seen them, and they eat the, the smallest shit in the world. Like, like bro. bro, I seen a video of a whale breaching, like not breaching, like like going up, but it was like it was eating. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, when a, a whale's about to come up and like eat the krill, you see the krill like popping around the yeah. on the around the water. Yeah. So there was there was on a canoe, the whale, the this, the krill started going around them. They're like, what the fuck? She, that shit. It got it was a girl. In the, in yeah, the yeah, bro. I'm like, but it, it didn't swallow, but that shit kind of hurt. That shit got to hurt though. Yeah, no, so what they... And it spit it back out, right? Yeah, they had to spit it back out. Yeah, because whales actually, you actually can... You can fit in their mouth, but they actually can't swallow you. They're, yeah, they're... Their esophagus throat is like, like, like a melon, right? Yeah, it's actually like damn near like the size of our head. Yeah, so... Like, you won't be able to fit in there. It doesn't make any sense. But, like, that's scary, but Like, if I'm... Like, say if I'm, uh, like, uh... Oh, my God, yo, imagine you're, like, snorkeling... And you just see a whale coming up from the depths, just swimming towards it just, you. It just keeps coming. It's like, hey, hey, bro. Yo, I'll be, oh, I'll be scared as shit, bro. I'll piss myself in the ocean, my nigga. That's that's mad scary, bro. I don't like whales, bro. That's whales are scary, weird. bro. That's like weird. whale watchers, y'all weird. <laughs> if you go whale watching, you're weird yeah, as fuck. Whale watching is a real thing. I thought it was like a joke. No, that's a real People thing. People go and watch whales. Yes, yeah, just breach. Nah, it couldn't be me. You pay a hundred dollars, you might not even see a whale for real. Oh, that's what. Like, like, imagine you pay all that money, you don't see whales. Like, nah, niggas is weird. See if one comes, you only see one. Yeah, like you just see one. Like, ooh, click. Yeah, that's, like, that's it. Nah, fuck out of here, bro. I'm not doing yeah, that. I'm not risking my life. Yeah, all right, bro. I got another question for you, right? Yeah. So, would you take two hundred billion dollars? Somebody's offering offering you two hundred billion dollars, but before you get the money, you must survive the Hunger Games. But every time you die, 
you respawn, but you feel each death. Oh, hey. But you're still, you, you will not get out that loop until you win. Pain sucks. Um, so would you take the $200 billion? Niggas better off me for real, for real. For <laughs> $200 million? $200 billion. Oh, yeah, I might have to run that up and I might have to double it. I you know, I might run it up twice. Like, also, because like, uh, a spear to the gut. You still, yeah, you feel everything, but you're gonna respond. You just know you'll, you'll. But like a spirit to the gut, right? And you yeah. just keep going until you, until you win. Yeah. So like, who I, are the people who are also candidates? Like, it's every, random every time. But remember, you have it's a. It's not like no, like you feel me. I'm not going against like Bruce Lee. <laughs> nah, it's a, it's like normal Hunger Games. Like it's the same thing. So like once you die, you're gonna restart the process over again. Union County, we choose. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. <laughs> nah, I go Essex County going. <laughs> They're gonna freaking fry us. <laughs> nah, but I'm not gonna lie though. I think I'd do it because the worst thing would be like getting a spear to the gut. Yeah. And then bleeding out slowly. Uh huh. Or like getting an arrow to the neck and you're not dead yet. Yeah. But I, for me, what I would do is I would just like treat it like basketball, bro. Like, what? You know, like when you, you know you're running a 55 and you just, you're done. You're Nigga, tired as that's shit. That's not equivalent to an arrow in the neck. <laughs> what the fuck? But I, I, you know, you got to motivate yourself like, yo, we got. I gotta finish strong, feel me? <laughs> I'ma just yo gotta finish strong. Right? Yeah. Finish yo, but what if you're in that bitch for like years? Because it don't it don't stop. Oh, well, I can't just leave and come back when I'm so <laughs> you you leave, you get you're done once you win. So you have to win to get out the loop and then you get money. Twenty bills worth though. It is worth it. I feel like it's worth it. I'm gonna just... learn. How many times do you think it's gonna take you to get win? Um, I feel like no more than it shouldn't take me more than like a year. It shouldn't take me more than a year. So it's like a year and a half. No, but year. think about it. Hunger Games might last you like a week. That's each, what I'm saying. Each game, like each. That's session. what I'm saying. I don't know how many times I'm going to die. I'll say no more. I'll probably die a good maybe, no more than fifty. I, oh no, that's a lot. You might fuck, fuck. around and get sick in there, bro. I know. You might get a sinus infection in that bitch. <laughs> I'll be fucking pissed. Maybe you get like a regular ass illness. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the devs is like, just gonna. Yeah, you are gonna die for some other shit. You're not even gonna die. Nah, I'm gonna be. I'm. I think I'm gonna lose like like hope. Like, like once I'm like, like say I like I've, I've died, up. I've died like twenty times before. I'm like, yo, this is my, I'm like top three type shit. And then the devs like, I don't want him to win. Let's throw the dogs at him. They do be doing that. Shit. I be forgetting. They be they run the whole shit. I'm like, damn, I'm at there's niggas that be giving you money. I gotta, so you gotta be cool. The crowd favorite. Let's keep him here. He making us breathe. That's what I'm saying. I gotta, I gotta do some weird shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, <laughs> I might be in there. And after a while, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna purposely die the first like three times. <laughs> Why? Just to become an expert. Oh, so just... I'm gonna see like, you feel me? I'm gonna learn. All right, should I go and grab my stuff? Would you be one of the niggas to like that go kill niggas? Go like you know how they start and, and there's stuff in the middle, and yeah. then, or we could run out and find yeah. stuff. Are you gonna be one of the niggas to run into the middle and grab shit? No, I'm not. But like, but one time I might do it. Like you know what? Fuck, it, I gotta try. Like I just quick, <laughs> quick re, <laughs> quick, yeah, 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 yeah. Quick, quick respawn, quick respawn, yeah. quick respawn. Quick like respawn. say, like say you running away, you trip, you're like, all right, fuck it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll yeah, go, I'll run back. Quick, I'm like, I got, I got more chances. Yeah, quick, but like, quick. but at first I might like just dip and just hide. Or you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna like hide out, like and just stake out, wait till niggas leave that shit, and then run in that bitch. Nah, but somebody, whoever wins all the kills might camp it. Like in the oh, movie, they might be like, "Yo, I got all the goods, bro. I'm chilling here until I win, bro. You can't, co- you can't." Sneak I just hope my, me. I hope my my partner carries. Low you got key. a partner? Yeah, there's only games. one nigga that win, bro. Oh yeah, wait. They were just working together because they fuck with each other. So at the end, they got to kill each other. It was oh supposed, yeah, but they saved them. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, you don't got no partner. Nigga. Oh shit! Fuck out of here. I'm gonna die. Damn, nah. I'm gonna. I'm, damn. I mean, I'm a partner. I'm be like looking at niggas like, yo. Yeah, yeah, type shit like. I'm a, I'm a partner with the weakest nigga. Oh, just because if it comes when it comes down to, it, I can off that. <laughs> you feel me? He might be like, "Oh, he's a big guy. Let me work with him." Yeah, uh, you are gonna be a big ass target, bro. They gonna get you out of your first like consistently. I ain't gonna lie. Like, get the big guy over there. He I running. I got knee tendonitis too, so. <laughs> nah, type shit. My knees be burning. Yo, 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 you know what's crazy, bro? Niggas getting old, bro. I be having to warm up now. <laughs> Oh, bro. I can't just hoop. I gotta warm up now. Like, shit, nah, I, I hooped the other day. I'm fucking mid. Oh. No, no, I'm not mid. I'm not mid. I'm not mid. I'm not mid. I'm the, I'm I'm good enough to win games, but not by myself. Nah, I can't mid. I can't carry my team no more. You can't carry. No, I could I could carry to one. Oh, fuck, I can't. I don't even like saying this shit, bro. Like I can't fucking shoot, 
But I be I be taking it to the rack though. Like my moves are still there. You go to the, the, the euros. You losing be, the balls? <laughs> nah, nah, I don't be losing it crazy. Oh, say, my my lips. I be missing lips a little bit. Like the little uh, bunnies. Smoking here and there. Yeah, smoking here and there. Yeah, but like the you'll gym. be really in the gym. <laughs> yeah, I don't be no. That was the first time I played basketball in like six months. Where'd you play at twenty four? Yeah. Damn. It was yeah, half you haven't court even too. been playing at 24? Nah, bro. Suck, I just I bro. literally just go to the gym. I go on the stepper downstairs. I remember Collins be was it like hit me up like yo go to 24 because niggas be hooping. I'm like ah oh, there it's probably there. No, nah, nah. <laughs> he wasn't even hooping. Nah, bro. I because I just yo I just try to I'm trying to like re- replicate replicate like the season. Because if I don't, I'm gonna freaking start getting big. So I yeah, I know what you mean, bro. I, like I'm thinking about it. Like after, I'm gonna take a mean two week break. I mean, like yeah, I don't want to see nothing yeah, exercise. Bro. But then I won't get fat. Bro. That's what I'm saying. Like I be on the stepper for like 35 minutes. I put that bitch on 15, bro. But you don't eat like shit though, so it's like I know now. Of... I'm starting. I'm starting to eat a lot better. I'm yeah. eating a lot of low calorie shits. Mio, yeah, we lit, bro. Damn, you sound like a. Lady, I know, bro. This shit's fucking yeah, crazy, I'd be, bro. I'll be oh low calorie God. shits and I'll be this using is, the stepper. This shit's fucking. I went to the gym, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, get yo this shit's fucking nuts, bro. Nah, that's OD, bro. I'm about to be. Yo, you gonna be right there with me? You know gang. what me and Jordan say? <laughs> what? We're like, we're sitting in the season. We walk in the locker room after one of them practices. Every practice has been one of them practices. One of, after yeah. that practice. And it was just me and him. And I, we both stopped. I said, bro. We should have got out last year. <laughs> like, he did it like three weeks ago. I looked at him and said, we should have got out last year. He, and then he just, that me, he said, bro, I was thinking that the whole time. <laughs> I was like, it would have been it would have been cool to go out last year. We went on top. You yeah. feel me? Then we could have said, damn, we was nice. Look at these niggas now. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah we went shit. out top. We'll be <laughs> carrying shit, niggas, shit. I went out, hey, I went out on a high note, bro. Yeah, exactly, bro. I'm like, damn. That's tough. You got anything damn, else you want to talk about? I you got any topics? I got, I got some good ones coming up, bro. Oh, I have a question. What's up? Kind of leads into two questions. What's worse, cyberbullying or real bullying? What do you think is worse for these? Cyberbullying is worse because I feel like cyberbullying, you can, there's like, there could be people that could add on to that. Like, you can be cyberbullied by like a million people. But it's not, but like also, bullying, you can get beat up. Real bullying, you, yeah, you can really. But like, I feel like cyberbullying, like, make a nigga off himself. And then plus, like, real bullying, like, I feel like cyberbullying, bro, like, you know, you know the motto, bro. You could just turn the screen off. But yeah. Cyberbullying, like, even at the extent, you, you kind of have to look for it. Yeah. Like, even yeah. if they're posing, you kind of have to, like, oh, I want attention. And then, like, you feel me? And you could kind of yeah. learn from your mistake. Like, say you post something and niggas are like, oh, this your corny. Yo, look at this loser. Ah, on the cyberbully. You'd be like, you have time to think to yourself before responding or before niggas know you're embarrassed, right? Oh, okay. But in real life, if somebody's bullying you and you're getting, getting bullied, bullied in real life, yeah. you don't have time to like, what's a comeback? Like, you know, <laughs> what do I say to this guy? <laughs> Let me get my big brother. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's cyberbullying, you have time to like, hey, yo, what do you think I should say to this? You know what I'm saying? Or how should I re- You can ask questions. Yeah, but, that's like, true. Real life bullying, like, there's no comeback. Like, it's you better be ready. That is true. That you is feel true. Me? You better be ready. You have, it's split thinking, and I feel like that's a, my next part was like I feel like um, that kind of makes kids stronger. Like just like us, how we grew up, we like cyberbullying wasn't really a thing. Like yeah, kind of fake. You feel me? Like yeah, it wasn't. That, it wasn't like, crazy. somebody might gel off you, but like it's like all right. Like because social media wasn't really like like yeah, that when we was growing up. Exactly, but like real life bullying that like teaches you to like. I right, this is how I have to come back or this is how I react because like it's split seconds like yeah. niggas laughing at you right now what you gonna say that's what I'm saying you got <laughs> so like UJ was talking about this before on the pod you saying like bullying could like build character yeah in yeah, a way yeah. that's what I'm so I feel like but it can also break character you gotta remember it can also break you it can also break a lot of human beings when I say bullying is good <laughs> yeah but the thing is I feel like cyber bullying you can go without but I feel like regular bullying you need you need it because even like think about it even if Say, like, normal school bullying didn't happen, right? Like, yeah. the first set of bullying you get is probably, like, for some people. Some people don't have big families, but, like, for me, it was from my cousins. Yeah. So, like, my, my family at home, like, my brother's in the military, so he wasn't there with me. But, like, my cousin would be like, feel me, like, oh, I was the only nigga in the family with asthma. So they wouldn't <laughs> let me play manhunt. You feel me? I was gelling off me, and I was tall as hell. feel me? So, like, but it's mad stuff like that. But that yeah. prepared me, like, you feel me? Like, for example, like, the asthma, that kind of took away that... 
when somebody would make fun of me for asthma in like middle school, or elementary school, yeah, it didn't bother me at all because mm-hmm. my cousin's been doing that. Yeah. Then there's other things like oh, me being tall, well, my whole family's tall, so I didn't get made fun of for it. But then when I got to school, it'd be different. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. But I feel like real life bullying, like cyberbullying, I don't feel like that really prepares you for nothing. It just kind of, it just like hides you from the real world type shit. Kind of makes you pussy. But like, like just, <laughs> <laughs> but like just imagine it's like, uh, does does leak nudes count as a cyberbully? Yeah, but that's your own fault. So that <laughs> that counts as like learning from your mistakes because it's like, okay, I want some clout, so I'm about to send some news out and then they get leaked. Now you're in trouble. Yeah. And it's like Okay, what if it's like like somebody some <laughs> some girl some girl made a TikTok. Mm-hmm. She ugly as hell. And everybody in the comments be like, damn. I ain't oh, gonna she, say it. and she thought she killed that TikTok. Yeah, like she made a genuine like. Yeah, all she, this shit. she so sees mean. like she got a million views. Like, oh, this is lit. But they're but, all frying her. Yeah, and the comments like, damn, I want to. I don't want to say. I don't want to say, but I know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this, them type of shit. Like, you damn. think that is worse? That's worse. See, that's, that, I don't think that builds character, bro. I don't think that builds character. That's what I'm saying. Like, if that happened in real life now, like, say, I don't know, it could be because, like, say, it happened in real life. Like, say, like somebody is dancing or they make a bad joke and niggas start frying the person with yeah. their, uh, like you feel the impact and then you like, feel me you might however you react is your impulse and then whether it's subconsciously or consciously you like learn from it because like when you walk out of the situation you're like even if you're sad how did I how am I supposed to react but then when you have cyber stuff you, you can look at it the whole time and you don't have a, you don't need an immediate response yeah yeah you feel me so it's like you just keep looking at it. You don't need a response. Your mm-hmm. body, your mental doesn't need to respond. Doesn't need to respond. But in real life, you need to respond to get out of the situation. That's true. That's you feel true. Feel me? So that's why I feel like it helps you. That's good. Yeah, but I, I, I want like my son to hopefully like, experience bullying. Experience bullying, but like <laughs> come out on top. Like <laughs> yeah, dude, like people. Like, if y'all getting bullied right now, it's okay because it's just gonna make it. Yeah, you're gonna person. be tough, bro. You gonna be tough. I used to get bullied, bro. You gonna we get all used tough. to get bullied, get there, bro. This man's six eight, bro. I'm <laughs> telling you, bro. Like now, I'm hooping. <laughs> I'm hooping. That's what I'm saying, like, bro. I'm saying, like, but the one thing too, my son, like, my my sister doesn't have, she she doesn't even want to have kids, and then my brother has two, but the way they being raised, bro, they ain't gonna be no gangsters, bro. They gonna be <laughs> they gonna be four like athletes of the year. It's gonna be it's crazy, but they they ain't had no. So far, I ain't got no gangster in them. So, you feel me? And yeah. Plus, it's only two. Feel me? Like, <laughs> me, I had, like, a million cousins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> feel me? Like, but, like, it's only two. And then I'm way younger than my brother. I'm not having a kid no time soon. They're already three and two. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm just like, damn, they're going to be way older. So, that I'm like, damn, I got to figure out a way. You feel me? You can, but you can, like, you can, like. Probably around, like, my homie's kids and shit. Yeah. Like, that would really be his cousins. You just used to tell me, like, his kid going, like, like, bully, bully my kid. I won't let that happen because like technically nah. all my kids go be freaking like because like for me like in a Filipino <laughs> no, Filipino household it's like your friends is your family like your cousins yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. like so like y'all kids and my kids are gonna be like cousins yeah like how Tim Adrian yeah, <laughs> yeah shit, yeah, shit like <laughs> yeah, that yeah. so it's like because I only have one sister so we're, yeah, she's, yeah. so I'm gonna have more she's you gonna have a lot of cousins but when you just said like oh my cousin my son go bully your son I'm like nah or he was like mm-hmm. I was like yo what if your son what if I had a a son and you had a daughter and they started dating. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yo, we out. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, yo. <laughs> Deed. <laughs> like, say something like that. I'll be like, damn. I'd rather it be the That's son and tough. the daughter than my daughter and yeah, his yeah. son. <laughs> no, I'd rather really, that. Specifically, UJ's son. UJ. Like, any of my other friend's son. UJ, I know your father. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, my thing, like, I, I'm gonna have him, like, if it's one of my friend's kids, yeah. I want them to fight. Oh, fight? <laughs> like, in terms of, like, how I put it, like, you know, like, like when I was younger, me and Jose, we were best friends, but we used to fight. Like, it was never, like, you know, one person bullying the other or whatever. Yeah. Like, you feel me? But it was, like, feel me fight, like, where they got into arguments and shit. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, now go talk to your mans, bro. Because when they come back crying, I'm not talking to you anymore. I don't care. You feel me? I'll treat all my friends' kids like... You know, like they're my kids, like brothers and sisters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because like, cause I don't have like a huge like family, a whole bunch of brothers in my own. Self, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I feel like all my friends are like that the same way too. I think this generation of kids, like our parents' generation didn't have a lot of kids. But like their yeah. parents are the ones that had kids. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because I feel like exactly. they grew up in the age where like, 
like HIV and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, scary. So, like, so the guy, he kind of got scared. That's yeah. when the condoms came out. He's like, all right, yeah, he said, yeah, all right hold on. <laughs> you guys, slow down a little Magic bit. Magic Johnson was an advertisement for that Nah, shit. he was, bro. That yeah, nigga, when, once Magic got it, niggas got yeah. scared as shit. And plus, yo, like, even before, like, our grandparents, like, slavery just, like, yeah, type, <laughs> just got rights. <laughs> niggas, yeah, type of shit. So, yeah, it was like. You feel me? So, it was like, okay, yo. We can have kids now, yo. <laughs> Run it up. Like, you feel me? Hey, like that's bro. probably what like we, I got like we got so many uncles and shit like that. Probably, so. Yeah, so that's what I'd be thinking. Yeah, for real. But I got another question for you, right? Yeah. So which area would you rather try to survive and get out of? But we are giving you every ounce of like supply you need to survive. So we're gonna give you food, we're gonna give you you can get weapons on you and shit like that. You're gonna get everything supplied for you. You just need to get out. It's either the Amazon rainforest or the Sahara Desert. Which one are you going to try to survive? How many, like, is it, I'm getting out one day or I have like. You got, you can, however long it's going to take. But oh, you just drop me in the middle. Like, yeah, drop so. you in the middle of Sahara Desert, drop you in the middle of the rainforest and you just got to find your way out. Desert, bro. <sighs> I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick the rainforest just because the desert, they all, it all looks the same. So oh, you, you go insane! Like you can keep you, yeah. You can go Everybody crazy. Psychological help. That's smart. You yeah. can go crazy, and you could just keep going in one direction. You don't know where to. Like you can go. Like at least if I, I'm in the rainforest, I'm just gonna follow the water. You know, follow yeah. downstream. Like make yeah. my way to the coast. Somewhere. Oh, you have to find your own way out. Yeah, you gotta find your own way out. You don't got a map. No map. I ain't gonna lie. See, you. It's easier to get out the rainforest. It is. But but the Sarah does not that big. It's it's, it's not, it's not as mean, big as the rainforest. But my thing is, I would literally just walk straight. You just gonna continuously walk straight. Try to find something. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing, why? So you know, I'm a survivalist. You know, what I'm saying I'm about to get real. I'm about to dive into this shit. Feel me? So when you're in the Amazon rainforest, like the main thing about survival in anywhere is staying dry. When you get wet, yeah, that's where you can develop diseases, get sick, stuff like that. Yeah. So water is not your friend on your body, but in your body, it's your friend. Yeah. So then, like the Amazon rainforest is moisture, humid. Then on top of that, you got snakes. You got uh, there is a lot of panthers. dangerous, dangerous animals. Bro, come, there's too much. But there. I got the supplies to like survive. To... What supply are you using? There is watching. <laughs> what supply are you using to kill a panther, dog? I can kill that nigga. I yo money line panther every but, time. <laughs> money line panther. Like, one round. Like, <laughs> I can kill that no panther. Way. There's no with way. the machete. There. Oh no shot. <laughs> you missed that first slice is so over for you, bro. As long as he's not stalking me, I'll give him some That's food. What they he'll, be do. My, he'll be my buddy. He not fuck with. Oh, you have food? You must have more. I have to kill you. <laughs> and you are food to them. Like. Not, nah, but then the desert is less like predators. So like, I'm worried about a scorpion. And then the freaking them little and them snakes. lizards that's like poisonous. Yeah, the poisonous lizards, the scorpion, scorpions. I ain't gonna lie. Scorpion walked in here right now. I'll bug out. <laughs> Even the rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes aren't poisonous though, so I'll be I. Right. They but snakes I thought are... rattlesnakes got venom. No, I don't think. Ra- Am I bugging? Yeah, I yeah. Think I think you're bugging. I, I think, think they got rattlesnakes got venom. They just rattle. Bro. No, bro, they got venom. That's why they don't fuck. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> nah, ra- snakes and all that stuff. Yeah, that's scary, but it's only when you sleep. I would be worried about it. But think about a sandstorm. What the fuck, niggas? Never watch Avatar. I got this shit, bro. I put my goggles on my head. I tie my shit up. And I, I curl myself in a little ball. And calm down. I mean, just chill out. It'll be mad peaceful, bro. I just feel like sandstorm would be buzzing. I just feel like I'm gonna go insane, like just walking, like I'm gonna just lose hope. I, I need to, I need to see new things for me to gain like morality. Like, yo, I could do this if I just continuously walk straight and just see like sand. I'm just gonna go crazy. You gonna be jumping over a log? I'm gonna jump. I'll jump over the log. I'm just gonna be going bro, downstream. You know shit, you have you can poison. You might touch a plant. It's poisonous. I know. I might. I might. But I'm just gonna. I'm. That, I, I have to do that. I desert me. Desert you? <laughs> Desert all right, all right, all right. Yeah. All right, I got, I got another question, right? So this is, this goes with the, the, the zombie one. Yeah. So which world would you rather live in? A world filled with supervillains, as in like not like Thanos or King the Conqueror, not like aliens, but as in like earthly, evil like niggas. evil supervillains, like as in niggas from Gotham, the Marvel characters like Doctor Octopus. Yeah. I said Octo, Doc, Doc yeah. Ock. Green Goblin, shit like that. Super villains. Street level like uh villains. Niggas that can still take over the world and kill hella niggas, but they're just not gonna go back in time and kill us like that. They're not gonna bring Armada niggas. Or a world filled with Call of Duty zombies. Like it's not the same like rounds, like they just keep coming, right? No, I mean it's like different types of zombies. Like there's those niggas that have armor, dogs. The, the dogs, the crawls, the big shits. Are, oh my god. 
Yeah, there's that's the world that, that you're living in. I might fuck around and become fucking <laughs> yeah. Be Batman. Uh, you gonna be Batman? <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Zombies is my shit, but I'll move up a little bit. Zombies is my shit, but zombies. Them zombies them don't stop. Them niggas is crazy. They just be running, flailing their arms. They, they exactly, and they but got the big ones too. I'm taking the super villains, bro. I think I'm taking. If them. I don't have nothing, they want. They not really super villains. Aren't really the bad guys, bro. They really. I mean, it's the people who did shit. It's the government, bro. Usually, it's the government, bro. That's true. I think I would take super villains too, but like I would just try and I'll stay. I stay clear from banks a little bit. I, I won't go to no banks. I'll try to. I try not to go to some like public events. Like I try to be a little, little conservative where I go. Yeah, because they be like they just like they're just gonna like the joke just I'm bomb gonna everything. Kill everybody, Batman. And think about like <laughs> and think about it, there's a bunch of villains. There's no superheroes. What the cops oh wait, are, there's no heroes. No, it's just super villains. So like, who's gonna stop these niggas? <laughs> they're just they're just running amok about. I might fuck around and become a villain. <laughs> nah, low key, I might work for Lex Luthor. Run that up. I get an internship with Lex Luthor. But like I can't them Call of Duty zombies, bro. I just feel like they're just the dogs. too, too much, bro. Like I mean the regular zombies, it was walking there. All right, that's fine. But like them niggas run the devil, the the fucking them little big ass zombies, yeah. the, the tank, whatever shit. Yeah. Nah, I don't think I I, I could take the Those Joker. The armor, yeah. I could take Bane. Those fly, I'm yeah. just Bane. I, Bane could be Bane could do them acid, whatever fuck them drugs over here. I don't care. That's good. He's not gonna want to kill me for real. Imagine that's life right now, bro. Like, there's like hella super villains right now. I would kind of bust because I'll be one. You'll be a super. What type but of? But I'll turn to a good nigga. Like you'll be an anti-hero. Yeah. Like I'll as, be one. Like, I'm gonna rob one bank, and then after that, I'm Gucci. Then I'm like, yo, stop robbing banks. Yo. Oh, so you gonna be the, so you gonna be the first like superhero call me, type? Call shit. me hypocrite, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead robbing the bank, but after that, who will be the super villain of like Union? Super villain of Union, who, like who you think could be like like if you if you would go to this town, this would be like this is like their super villain. I feel like it would be like a, uh, like a um principal Larry. Principal, no, I mean as like a like a old like a actual super villain. Oh, oh, oh. like like who what would do we have, bro? I ain't gonna lie, we don't got nothing. Yeah, we don't got nothing they want, but I feel like we'll have those niggas that like take control. Like they they'll like he'll like mind fuck us. The swamp, the swamp. I was saying, I was saying, swamp like, man, because he could just the swamp. We have a whole swamp. We do have a swamp. Oh, we'll have like a monster type of shit. Yeah, I was saying, monster. I was saying before, like in Springfield, they'll have like the weasel, <laughs> like because you know all them little white kids, like that little weasel gonna yeah. go kill them little white kids. Yeah, as long as they can, they can take the weasel. I will take the swamp nigga. Yeah, swamp nigga. I just stay away from Kwame Swamp. Yeah, I will take. I stay, yo, is that shit still sinking, bro? Kwame. Yeah, you remember? They, sinking? Remember they said because the swamp is making it like like technically like sink down. I, bro, I didn't even know that, but probably, bro. Did you did you guys do um like time capsules? Yeah, bro. Me and Fritz I, and Ish, I've been telling them we gotta dig that shit up. I am going. You know where you put it? Yeah, I put it by that tree, the first tree. When you go down the hill, there's like a tree right there, like a random tree, like right before, like the. Remember you? We used to run by it, like when we do the oh, mile. I ain't gonna lie, you ain't dig deep enough, twin. Why? Bro, that shit. You know how many hurricanes we done had since you was in middle school, bro. I know, but like that. Me, that I don't. Th- nah, that no shit, way. The mud done slid off, knocked that shit out. It's probably gone, dog. Nah, I gotta go check, bro. I want to see what I wrote. Damn, I know when you went in the swamp from the left side, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I definitely put something in there too, but I don't remember. I gotta. T- I like. I don't even remember writing like what I wrote, bro. Damn, I don't remember shit. Damn, um, what other ones do I have? Do I have anything else? Oh, uh, you have anything you want to talk about? Or you- I do. I do. Bro, who's your who's your English teacher at the time? You ever Miss Rittenhouse? No, I did not. I was about to say you look like a Miss Rittenhouse nigga. No, I am Miss Rittenhouse. I never wanted her actually. She was kind of yeah, Miss Fernandez or some shit. I did have Miss Fernandez and Miss Takasoli. Oh yeah, Miss Talk to me too. Shout out to Miss Talk, yo. If you watch it, bro. If you watch this podcast, Miss Talk, we we grown up now. I'm gonna send it to her. Yo, this is definitely. Didn't you used to send her your freaking your essays? (laughs) <laughs> you did? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, she was my tutor for a grip, yo. Hey, yo. That's she's still, no, nah, she's coming to senior night, bro. No, you're lying. I'm, yeah, I'm dead ass. Are you serious? I'm so dead ass. Oh, I got to say what's up That's there. the homie, bro. That's really twin, You invited her to senior day? Bro, I know her kids. I'm their coach. How many? What kids? She, oh, she has two kids now, dog. Really? Yeah, bro. Wait, her, wait coach where? For what team? Nah, for them to the league. Oh, you're going to coach them? I'm their Delson. How many How many kids does she have? So, wait, how, how, how old are they? One of them is five wow they're going to no one of them is seven wow they're coming to camp bro 
Are you serious? I'm se- yeah, nah, bro, I swear to God. Free. Nah, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm yeah, about to work this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, bro, they're, they're, Wait, they're, is it with like, the same nigga from when we was in middle school? Like that little Jersey Shore looking ass nigga? No, 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 not him, not him. Ah. Uh, uh, my boy Ryan Kelly. I hated that nigga. Oh, you when did? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah. Yo, Yo, Her wait. name is Kelly now. Really? Yeah, her last name's Kelly. She, <laughs> oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah, she's I know Miss Fernandez married Mr. Winters. The brother, yeah, Mr. She, Winters' brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's Mr. She, Winters, man. And then I think she got like two kids or some shit like that. She's she was pregnant while I was at school. She had like I think because I remember I, she had like I remember she drove past like Livingston and I was driving to go pick up Ish and she had like the little shit that's in the back. I think she has like two girls or some shit like that. Two? Yeah, I think she had either, girls. I don't know. That's crazy. But here's my thing, right? I was about to ask. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't, one. I'm asking you one of these. <laughs> All right. Would you cons? <laughs> what type of crazy shit you about to say? No, it's not even crazy, bro. It's not word it. Uh, Eli sent me a topic, and I'm like, oh, yeah, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, yeah. Would you, would you consider football like a safe word? Like, do you want to put your? Would you put your kid in football? Actually, first of all, I would. Yeah. Question. Now you know how they're like, oh, football's dangerous, and all yeah, that, you know what I'm saying. But if they told you like, the like statistics say like football is actually safer, like. Like rugby, yeah, safer, yeah. Without a helmet, would, would you I, consider it more? Would I consider them wearing not wearing a helmet? Yeah, would you say, yeah, go ahead. No, because the 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 statistics might say it's safe, but that doesn't mean my kid won't die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then if it's saying like, oh yeah, like seventy percent of people, they like people wear helmets are seventy percent more likely to get an injury. <laughs> than somebody without one because like the helmet, at that point like, I don't even know if I'm putting oh, at all. Like, like, you take it, <laughs> Damn. Like so, put it like this: so they might have like face bruises, but like they will not, have not mental CTE. trauma. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna make him a kicker. I actually, that's like one of my goals. Like he's gonna be nice, but like you. You're okay, I was kidding. Leg. I don't want to. I don't want my son to be a that's kicker. That's a free scholarship. Okay, a free scholarship. You're not gonna make it that far. He, how you know? See what type of confidence? Yeah. <laughs> what, what type of dad? Yeah, like, you're okay, not so, gonna make it that far. <laughs> so you're gonna let your kid play without a helmet? I. Yeah, I think I... Nah, he's wearing a helmet. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Doing. That's what I'm saying. He's because to... 70%, he, okay. He go, he'll care about CT. He's crazy. Yeah. Freaking Antonio Brown got that shit, bro. No. But, but no, nah, I think I wouldn't... I, would... I think, I think, the reason why I ask is because I think, I'm not 100% sure. I think this is to say that uh, rugby yeah. and like football without a helmet is actually safer than with a helmet. Is it because you're probably more cautious? But then again, the ones who use a helmet are like... They're but, colliding a lot more. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like maybe why? Because because like you're like you're, you're trying not to use your head. Yeah, yeah. But when you have a helmet, you're like I'm protected. Yeah, you know yeah. That, that is true. That's, that's what I was about to say. The whole bias. I feel like that. Like all this padding makes this thing like, oh, we're invincible. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, I'm not gonna get hurt. Yeah, stop me. Like <laughs> so, but like if you don't have padding on like the rugby players, like they're not going as hard. Yeah. So like yeah. they're gonna hit you, but it's like you're gonna feel it, but it's not gonna be like. Like I'm gonna, I'm trying to truck you. I'm just trying to like, you know, wrap yeah, you up, wrap and shit. you up, and bring you down. And shit, I think, yeah. yeah, maybe that will be the case. But like, everybody has to wear, uh, no helmet. Like, yeah. I don't want, I don't want my kid to be the only nigga that's getting his head knocked he's off. Like he just, <laughs> like he just <laughs> running stupid. <laughs> like, nah, bro, I'm not, I'm cool off that, bro. I'm yeah. cool off that. Yeah. But I don't know. But then the, the last thing I want to talk about, bro, there was since we talk about football, there is a thing going around, like a thing. You know, Jeffrey Star. No. You 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 know who Jeffrey Star is. It's the it's the uh, transgender guy that be that be going that be dating all like the celebrities that on the Lolo. I think with the I tattoos mean, and shit like that. Like he Jeffrey he swore he Star. slept. With... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. so Jeffrey yeah. Star posted a picture on a private plane with a guy. He was holding his hand, and it was a tall guy. He was like, "Me and my NFL boo going to the Wyoming in my house in Wyoming, shit like that." So I'm like, so everybody's trying to figure out who this nigga is, bro. And then she took a pic. He, he, I said, he took a picture with him in the mirror, and he said, "Oh yeah, he's six six. All that shit. He's not in the playoffs right now." And everybody's trying to figure out who he is, bro. And it's a white guy. He got like a little faux hawk. Niggas is trying to debunk who this is, bro. Nah, niggas thought it was Josh Allen, bro. Oh no, free my guy. Because because he say, they say he was going to Wyoming because he went to Wyoming. But I think Jeffrey Star has a house in Wyoming. Mm. Niggas was saying it was Justin Herbert, bro. They try to say anybody, bro, be because him, because they, they he had like a little mark right here, but it was because it was like a little from the IV, so he's dead. He plays in the NFL, IV, because like you know what, like some a lot of NFL players use IV like for like 
I guess like treatment or some shit oh, like that. Okay. So like they seen Justin Herbert with that same shit. And it was like, nah, that's a birthmark. But it was like, nah, it's a little Ivy thing. It wasn't Justin Herbert because the hair was different. But Damn. niggas is still trying to figure out who this Damn. is. And he, she, he said is she's pretty famous, bro. Damn. I don't know who he is, bro. Damn, I don't know. Like you gonna find out. Though. That shit was trending all over Twitter. But they're like, yo, who is it? Justin oh, yeah. Herbert. They talking about. Who else is a big quarterback? But just, he's, all we know for right now is that he's 6'6". So niggas is just gonna go down the line like, oh, this nigga, this oh, nigga, this nigga, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's totally. over, bro. Oh man, yeah. bro, free that nigga. But I was gonna ask you, what? Yo, you saw that the the Celtics Lakers game, bro? Yeah, bro. I'm not yo. The whole yo LeBron got super fouled and nah. they just watched it. They're out. They don't want LeBron to win, bro. I, they, they, I, I'm like, you know how like they be pushing shit. Yeah, they don't want LeBron to win, bro. It's over. Know. They're not. Try, they're trying to take LeBron. Because LeBron was the face of the NBA. They're trying yeah. to take LeBron out the face now. You think so? And especially with calls and certain stuff that happens in the games, bro. Yeah. Yo, that was OD. That was bad. I didn't think it was that bad until I seen the replay. No, that was OD. He smacked it. Like, it was like this. And he wasn't getting calls all game. They've been doing that to him For the all last, season. Like, month? Yeah. Like, they've been doing it all season. And I think they're just trying to get a new face of the NBA. Mm. And LeBron think is be- standing in the way because he's still nice. Because LeBron is still dropping 30 every... He's 30. at 41 that game. I know, bro. This but they don't want they they're trying to home. Remember, it was like a whole clip. Westbrook, he yeah. remember when um they lost to the Sixers and Westbrook had the last shot. Yeah, and it looked like he put up a bad shot. Mm-hmm. If you watch the replay, Joel Embiid hacked the hell out of him. Oh yeah, grabbed yeah, yeah. his wrist yeah. and pulled his arm down mm-hmm. so he couldn't get a shot up. That's terrible, bro. Like, but that's why I think yeah they just they just don't want Bron. Bron's time is done, bro. They don't you want think him. so. But all right, you can't win. I man. mean, he's like a hundred points away from passing. Kareem, right? I think it's like a, like 140. 100. No, I think it was after the after the last game. It's like 117, something okay, like yeah, that. Yeah, something. But like I'm saying, so how long do you think he has left? Because he's, he's not gonna retire until his son plays. With I know, but like he's he, is, you think he's gonna retire on top, like at like his peak? Because he's still he's still on a peak, my nigga. I'm not no, gonna lie. He's, he has not declined. Averaging a triple double. I got that boy in fantasy. Yo, That's he's going with. He's going stupid. So, do you think he's gonna retire when he's on the decline, or you think he's gonna retire at the peak, like when his son? Because he's gonna retire averaging twenty four points a game. That's crazy. O D. Like, what what age do you think that would be? Forty four. <laughs> so six more years. Yeah, he signs I, another contract. I think I feel like he can. You think he can get a max? He can, he can definitely get a max. He averages 30 for 35. Yeah, yeah. I think he can get a max. I think he can get a max. I don't know what team. I think you think the Lakers keep him. Like, what team wants LeBron, though? Uh, I feel like a team that's contending. I feel like he, like, at this point, like, I think who he. Who does he go to? That's what I'm saying. Because, like, also, too, like, with them changing the face, like, they wanted Giannis to win that chip for sure. Uh-huh. He earned it, but I'm saying because, like, he's the new face. He's doing yeah. great. And it's like. What do we want Chris Paul to win for? Yeah. Chris Paul's not going to be the face of the program. Touch Chris it. Paul, like, Devin Booker's not going to be the face. Low key, I think the Le- I think LeBron could fit on the Suns. I think he could too, actually. That's actually a perfect scenario. But I don't think they'd sign him. They could. You never know. I don't know. He was talking about him buying the Suns. You know who would take him in a lick? Lick the Knicks. split? The Knicks. Yeah, I'll take him. I'll I don't give a fuck. Brown, Brown. I'll take him 45. Just for 2K. I think he could... Pff. I think he can play till he's fifty. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. But he's gonna play with his son. Yeah, he's gonna definitely gonna play. You think both? Not nah, just one. Just one. Right. Nah, I'll take that. Both is max. I take that. He'll be the Ken, another. Five. He'll be the Ken Griffey Senior of basketball. That's OD. I'll if, take it. If he plays with his son, he's better than Jordan. Bro. <laughs> I'm saying, bro. You hear it here first, bro. LeBron over Michael Jordan. Yeah. But you got anything else you want to say, my brother? Nah. Thank you again for yeah. pulling up, my nigga. Yeah. Good pods always. Good pods always. Like I said, comment down below. All the oh, what you want them to comment if they watch the whole pod, bro? They got comment something. Oh, comment this. Oh shit. It's not about the size of the dog in the fight. It's about the size of the fight in, in the, the dog. dog. Real shit, bro. Comment that if you watch the whole video. Yes, uh, follow or at us. Least half of that is kind of long, but yeah, I know this is kind of like a, <laughs> it might be an hour forty, but hey, real ones, real ones be watching it. Bro. Yeah, 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 real ones be watching. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Follow the socials in the description, all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, new merch coming out soon. Yeah, stay tuned. New hoodies coming out, and uh, anything else I got to talk about? Nah, we different than regular, no regulars, man. Gangster. I'm gonna really go get it. Yeah. I'm gonna really go get it. Yeah. I'm gonna really go get it.